None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. That escalated quickly. Actually working tonight, but I'll leave a lurk. Probably be back later. No worries, Scott. Thank you so much again. It's really, really kind of you to recommend us like that. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh. That was... Ooh. Um. Thanks, Auto Drive. Crap. It's actually literally not going anywhere. Oh, okay. We're good. Bad ragdoll, that one. Not bad. Oh, boy. Ooh. So it doesn't think much of my odds of surviving here for long. Which, honestly, that's fair. Uh. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm in agreement with it. I don't think this is how this is supposed to go down. <laughs> they look at you expectant. Note that if Thatcher is looking for romance, she should look no further than her partner. It must be clear to everyone that Eden here is deeply in love with her. Thatcher bursts out laughing. Eden goes bright red. Get lost before I throw you in a cell for disrespecting a magic. I never really seem to have the time. I'm good. Can't hide from me. That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap, what was that? Whoop. Well, that happened. There you are. What? Ruined. That was a perfectly lined up shot. <laughs> Watch out for that. What are you doing up there? Oh, you're trying to... Let's see what happens when he tries to light it. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing! 
<laughs> I didn't know that was what they trapped it with. <laughs> Oh, you... Whoops. <laughs> this is fine. It's okay. I'm okay if they just want to stay there. That lets me regain a bit of magicka. I hate you guys. Looks like the water might be too shallow for the water wheel. Uh oh, are they hungry? Maybe this is more like vanished than I thought. Oh god, they're out of food. Okay, this is definitely reminding me a little bit more of Banished. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> Get back down here. No! Damn it. <laughs> Link? Link, where did you disappear to? I missed my ride. Do you mind? You're interrupting a thing here. God. That's <laughs> I'm in danger. You're not kidding. That's a zombie horde. Where are they going? They're hoarding this way. Yeah, uh, we're not doing this right now. There you are. Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everybody doing? It's good to see you all. We are going to be fundraising for Extra Life on this last stream of December, actually, unless I do a bonus stream, which is very possible, I suppose. Um, yeah, we're going to be fundraising for Extra Life in City Skylines. So let's hop over here, and I will get the game going. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Aaron, Laura, and Stara, good to see you. I hope all is well. I hope everyone is doing good. Okay, let me just get the game launched here. Lawkeeper and Stara just advanced. 64 months. 
Don't even mention the loss of newspaper subscriptions to me. It's terrible news. Happy Tuesday, Tilda. 64 freaking months. That's amazing. Thank you. Um, ah, okay. The City's 2 launcher was taking a long time to start up. I think it was just a login issue, though. It uh, took a few seconds, but it got there. So let's get the game open. So how's everyone's Tuesday? What's happening? Lawkeeper oh, Aaron Law just too. advanced. 78 months. <clears throat> I was just about to watch Armageddon on Netflix when my subscription expired. Ah, well, I thought. It's not the end of the world. I also have button time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the unbelievable resubs. That's incredible. Hammer, how's it going? It's good to see you. Hope all is well. 78 months and 64 months. That's a way to start a day. All right. What have we got, cities? <clears throat> now, if I remember correctly, we had just built an international airport, and it was probably a little early in the history of the town to do that, but that's okay. <coughs> so let's get back in here and see what's what. So what did we have to do? We built highway connections for the airport. And we've got a spur of the trail, uh, the, the train line extended out to it. We have a brand new, oh right, oh god. The police headquarters with this wonky little Belmont Street road that has to connect up the <laughs> really awkwardly placed, yeah. I almost wonder if it would have been better to connect it over here. Oh, but... This road is curved in, so that was going to be awkward, wasn't it? You know what? I really... <sighs> no. No. I'm going to leave it. it. It's... It's awful, but it's fine. It works. So what's everyone got going on this week? I'm actually quite happy today because we got our first genuine snow that looks like it's actually sticking. So, and we've even got like a weather advisory for weather events that are coming up. Smelted blast, you can go away. Um, do we have, oh, we do have office demand. So I'm going to put a little bit of office zoning in here. And I'll just do this whole little... I'll put those in. The police station can be surrounded by a little bit of office space. PAX Unplugged. What is PAX Unplugged? I've heard it before. I know it's like a gaming convention. But what distinguishes it from some of the others that go on? And particularly, what distinguishes it from other PAX events? Is this one more role-playing geared, or what's the deal? For games that aren't video, okay. That actually sounds pretty cool. Okay, so we got that. Let's go and see if we can... Oh, what do we have here? A little bit of a traffic accident. Oh, that's an awful place for an accident, too. There's this big parking lot right in here. So we need to reach milestone 13. And I think at that point, I'm going to start to deal with parking a little better. I'm probably going to spend some development points on new parking options.
board games, but also a lot of TTRPGs, of course. It's where Acquisition... Yeah, okay, that's why it was sounding so familiar to me. I was thinking of Acquisitions Incorporated. I knew it had something to do with one of the Paxes, but I didn't know if it was that one or one of the others. That's right by a transit stop, so I think we'll do a larger building there. And we got this little one in here. Actually, I'm going to do a building there, too, because it can't be that big as... Ooh, Constellation Apartments. The stars smile down on residents of Constellation Apartments. After playing so much Starfield, that has a particular amusing connotation to it. Where are we going to put you? Lawkeeper Tagarung 007 just advanced. 78 months. I wow. wanted to visit the world's biggest library, but unfortunately it was overbooked. Tagarung. Dot dot dot. Thank you so much for uh, 78 months in a row. That's amazing. How are you doing, Tagarung? It's really good to see you. I hope all is well. I think we're going to pop you in right on the edge here. In and amongst these other fancy lots. cover a little bit of this extra space over here. We'll upgrade those. Just gonna lurk a bit? No worries, Tigeron, no worries. It's always great having you here regardless. lot is completely full. I wonder if I could squeeze more parking in here. It does seem to be a very popular area for it. Let's take a little alleyway and we're going to just build a spur up here to access some of this territory. And then we're going to go back into our roads, to parking structures. That's not going to fit. That's not going to fit. There we are. That'll fit. It looks a little awkward, but it fits. Hey, Nixes. How's it going? Looking at that, trying to make sense of it, but we had the bridge coming over here and then the train was just vanishing under. It, it looked like some kind of awkward intersection from the angle I noticed it at. And then I 
wonder if maybe... Just maybe, is there a tiny... There is. Look at that. Beautiful. And just fit a little park in there, too. Stressed about new work and applying to a place in the last two days. Good overall, though. Just need some time to relax. Ow, oh, man. Yeah, that does sound kind of stressful. I hope you are able to get some relaxation in there. Nebula Moore, welcome on in. How's it going today? We also have a little bit of space over here. I wonder if maybe I should revisit this bridge. We could probably fit some more stuff in. Oh, right. We were constrained when we put this in by this ruin over here. Okay. That's okay, though. We can work with that. We can work with that. Quit your internship? Oh no, what happened? Is this... Yeah, the rail is elevated too. We're gonna have to see if this actually goes across. Oh, yep, doesn't seem to be a problem. tighter turn that'll be better and then oh actually you know what let's not even do that I'm just gonna straight up do an intersection so that we can get the road across more easily so we'll bring that in and intersect there that needs to go Kind of complicated for Twitch chat, but enough to say I was not feeling safe and re receiving no support, so putting myself first, decided to walk out. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, oh my god, that does not sound like a fun situation. Uh, it is, I think, probably for the best that you put yourself first in a situation like that, though. That, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, you, you gotta protect yourself, so I'm glad. Um. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. There we go. This has been a local public service announcement. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. Local stargazers are in for a real treat tonight as the Aurora Borealis is expected to light up the night sky. That's right, Jim. Don't forget to look up this evening. It promises to be quite a sight. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. What that's do you mean, right, slope to? Apparently that's not all good what? News. Oh, yeah, I guess that's a bit of a hill, isn't it? 
Professor Nutbuck. Welcome, Professor. That would be one so expensive bridge for a tiny island in real life. Would probably cost several million in real life. Bridges overall are so cheap in this game compared to real life. It's an important little island, though, Nexus. This is one of the colleges. Entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, one, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? Well, it's there in game, so I don't know. Maybe it does. Hey, Shark, how's it going? That's what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human. Thank you, Professor. It is a question of priority. Okay, I think we are going to change this intersection. We don't want lights. Like yield is probably better. And I guess I can leave the crosswalks. I doubt they'll be used much. Got a really good job offer last week, and as soon as I started sending out my resume, I got a job interview invite for tomorrow. I liked where I was, but that's not enough reason to feel that dismissed. Yeah. Yeah. Very understandable, Nebula. Took the rest of the day off, even put the phone on silence. No more work for today. Excellent choice. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Do we have any... Yeah, we've got some areas in here that would be pretty good for residential, or commercial, rather. Not sure how far out it extends, but I'm going to try doing some in here, and then we'll do... to the water because there's not a lot of residential we can do there do a little bit here do a little bit here I don't want to muck up the coastline too much though on the grind with your contacts since you got home? Yeah. It's interesting to me that they can connect to that even though it's already rising up. I guess technically because it isn't elevated it's just the ground itself is elevated a little bit. They're able to connect to it there. I like that they're able to be that flexible with it. No worries, Aranar. place for crossing over the train line actually switched my phone off so I won't even see if boss writes me yeah too many people are not willing to do that I think
not sure how much development I actually gained by redoing these roads here, but I guess that works. space back here too. Now I wonder if this is going to be okay as an alley or if I should... Uh, do I make it a proper road? Takes up more space if I do. Eh, heck. I think I'm just giving myself headaches if I don't. Looks like we've got a small amount of demand for, like, customers for um, commercial interests in here. So let's do a little strip in this way. And maybe we'll actually do offices for the rest. Oh, actually... Maybe not. It looks very unsuited to offices, doesn't it? We'll do some row homes. Okay, now what kind of transit do we have over here? Okay, we actually... Ooh, that, that's promising. We've got our little commercial interest over here. We also have bus lines right in here. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to pop in some bus stands here. And then we're going to modify these lines so they stop right in here. This new commercial coming in will greatly appreciate that. <clears throat> and I do believe we have a subway station here, don't we? Yeah, and that's in very close proximity to... Wait, what did I do? Stop. What? This bus route is very weird. I might have to come back and audit my bus lines at some point. Commercial's always so picky. Not enough workers, not enough customers, not enough goods, not enough firefighters. Yes. 
Don't forget police. Not enough police. Yeah, some of the older bus lines, like that blue line coming right in here through the Madison College area, they are definitely a bit on the older side. I might need to take a, another look at those. Like, you know, I kind of identified this little spur of land as its own area. I might separate this out. I might also kick myself for doing this. after the college. And for this, let's see. Probably not a good idea to make it a gated community since it houses one of our schools. Traffic ban, recycling, and speed bumps. Now, the problem we've got is that most of the city services that service Linden Junction used to service here, and now they don't. And we don't really have space to put in dedicated spots for stuff like that. So, let's see. Oh, I didn't realize you could do operating districts for cemeteries and stuff, too. That's actually interesting. We are going to have to add Madison Gardens to some of these things. Okay, where is medical? This is Second Moon Radio Classical for the Modern Age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper, using only their imaginations as hmm. guides through a silent audio masterpiece. Okay, now, so we've got a main hospital and we've got a clinic. And our souls are the clinic really should have operating districts. But let us not tarry. On to the next episode. We're we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick Actually, trip out, sorry you about might that. want to get rid of that too. I think we're going to put in, in a clinic uh, over here. You already know about it. No use reminding Oh, that was a store. You. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Oh, that's no, not, and not a hospital. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is Lawkeeper JHA rug just advanced. 53 months. Have you heard about the Classic Painters subscription box? It's a pay as you Van Gogh model. My wife recommended I do some light reading to relax at the end of the day. Not really relaxing as my eyes are in pain, but I managed to make out 60 watts, made in China. Wow. Wow, Jarek. How's it going? Thank you so much for the 53-month resub. It's good to see you. How are you doing today? 
Uh, okay, so we've got a clinic in here. Uh, let's, oh man, everything is named Madison. I really hope they're able to increase the diversity of names. We're gonna call this Shoreline Street, because why not? And we'll call this the Shoreline Medical Clinic. And this is going to just exclusively operate with Coleridge Bluff. Now, where's the hospital? The hospital should actually cover the basically the entire city. So yeah, that does not want operating districts. Now, I'm pretty certain we're going to need something for Fairview Town. Oh, Fairview Town has got one. Excellent. Ah, but Fairview Town should probably incorporate the airport nowadays. So I think we're going to drag this over here. What do you mean exceed city limits? No, it doesn't. Oh, yes it does. We're going to put another corner in over here. Then we're going to drag this over. Great, apart from a light fever, got myself Fallout 4. Oh, I saw your post. I saw your post. That was a really good deal, Jarek. Got myself Fallout 4 and Greedfall, finally. So that boosted your mood. That's awesome, Jarek. I hope you enjoy them. Just about to game with a friend, though, so leaving a lurk? No problem. Enjoy your lurk and your gaming. <laughs> if you get a fifth sub, can we demand story time? Yes, I will have to add story time to the, uh, to the tab which is now pretty significant. Hey, Guardian, how's it going? Uh, right, we're dealing with our hospital medical clinic situations. I think Strawberry Crossing is a wealthy enough district. How big is that? all the way up there, does it? I guess... Let's put this up here and over there, too. Just incorporate that bit there. Um, oh, what happened here? Sorry about the building. I think these people, they're wealthy enough that, first of all, let's do some districting stuff. Energy consumption... Not a gated community. Recycling. They're wealthy. They can afford to pay for parking on the street. And we'll do speed bumps. And they're going to get their own clinic as well. Actually good though, Odd deci finally decided to get Windows 11 early. What do you mean early? And Starfield finally works without crashing. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Starfield, I have such a good time with Starfield. I really love that game. Okay, let's get rid of that. Now... Springs is another district. I think they're going to have to rely on the hospital. I'm not going to build a clinic out here. It's a big district, but there's hardly anybody living there. It's all just people working there. The hospital with its medical camera will be fine. Or medical camera, I mean medical hella chopper thingy. It's a technical term.
Apparently Starfield's last update added stability issues, yes. Windows 10 gets no support after 2025. Yeah, it's just hard for me to picture because I have been using Windows 11 for so long now. Aaron Law just appointed Leisha Jackies to be a lawkeeper. What kind of music do presents like? Rap. Aaron Law gifted a tier 1 sub to Latia Jackies. They have given 28 gift subs in the channel. What the heck, Aaron Lord, thank you. I appreciate that. That's quite the username. I actually like it. Uh, okay, now that was one part of the city services puzzle. Wait, you're already complaining? You're not even finished building and you're already complaining about rent? LT from DDB. Oh, that's really cool, Aaron Lar. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. That might already. I don't know if that's going to develop at all. It might be too small. That is really awesome, Aaron Lore. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at Madison Garden again. This is all basically in service to them. Oh, average wealth is wealthy. You want to maybe want to actually turn on the roadside? No, it, because it's a college district. I'm okay with doing it at the technical university, but for a community college, I think we're gonna leave the parking be off. I think we're okay to leave that off. Now, local services, Aspen Medical Clinic and Linden Junction Crematorium, that is not going to be sufficient. I think I'm gonna add it to the area of coverage by both of the recycling centers. trash collection needs there we go not the landfills though only the recycling centers now how about police coverage We've got the Linden police station over here Holly Street Police Station. Gordlandia Police Headquarters, which operates citywide. I think the Linden Police Station is going to have to cover Madison as well. As for Strawberry Crossing, do they have police service? They <laughs> their only police service is Gordlandia Prison. I might have to do something about that. I think they could use a police station of their own. This case, um, I think I will assign the Birch Springs area to this police station as well, because this is an awfully tiny little district. It's an important district, but it's a tiny district, so police can cover out here too. Now, how about fire coverage? 
fire coverage actually seems okay. Because they've got this fire watch tower, which I can probably move, but I'm going to leave it for now. Fire hazard is actually quite high, though. But fire and rescue coverage is good, so I'm going to leave that alone. They don't seem to need that right now. Now, how about here? They're also good. that'll be okay. Let's uh, bump up our speed here. To address the limitations of the city's power grid and combat global warming, the city has passed a resolution power to grid. encourage all citizens to reduce their electricity consumption. Be energy smart. Remember to turn off lights and computers when not in use. Good habits can make a big difference. This has been a local public service announcement. The city has adopted a recycling policy. All citizens are encouraged to place their recyclables in the proper receptacles. Let's keep our city green and beautiful. Start today. This has been a local public service announcement. Ben, how's it what going? What kind of future does music have if it doesn't a look to its past? A three-stream well, watch streak. I That's awesome, Ben. Thank you so itself. much. How are you doing? Here it's good to Second see you. Here on Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. I'm well, very glad no. to hear that, the Ben. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local economy. That's Chicago. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when <laughs> I'm in danger, floats our boat. No, 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 this no. Boat, Glenda. There's no danger. We're fine. We're very fine. Okay, cargo train terminal. I think we're gonna upgrade this road, and I'm gonna start building some more industry over here. Just pop that out. That should be okay. Come on, there we go. All right. That's fine. I don't need a massive amount of industry down here. But we could use a little bit of an industrial expansion. Oil refinery. Oil that once just used to uselessly lie underground is fashioned into many different substances in this very refinery. I would love to put it in here. I might have to redo some of these roads a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, terrible pun or dad joke, huh? Okay, hang on just a moment. Where did I put my joke book? Where did I put my joke book? I don't have the tab open. One moment. There it is. No, that's not right. There we go. Okay, we've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, folks. I need to warn you in advance because there's a reason they're called terrible puns and dad jokes and not brilliant puns and dad jokes. Do not be expecting comedy gold. If I provide it, I have failed. Why didn't the sun go to university? Because it already had a million degrees. There you go. Oil refinery is massive. Okay. I could maybe... Hmm. I think we're going to have to put it next to the postal service here. Is that a regular road? No, it's not. We're going to have to upgrade this road, which is going to endear us to the commercial interests over there. Sorry about your building. Uh, what do we have here? What is this? Lumber. Do I want to shift a bunch of pollution over that area? Do I have an oil area that would be better suited for this? You failed, that was funny. My apologies, I'm very sorry. Rock, quarry, grain, cotton, more cotton. Crude oil, okay, an oil refinery around here would be pretty good. The only problem is if I build an oil refinery around here, it's going to pollute the air, and that's going to be a bit of an issue. No, the joke is not wrong. Just because it has 15, degree, 15 million degrees does not mean it does not have 1 million degrees. It has 1 million degrees, plus a bunch more. If it's got 15, it's got 1 by default, plus a bunch more. That, that's that's how that works. should put in a cargo train terminal over here so that stuff from the uh, the oil fields can just be transported by rail directly to the refinery then I wouldn't need them in close proximity two days till patine nice 
I haven't put in in a while. Because we do have a nice train line right here. And I could provide more space over here. dad break of the stream. noise pollution but no ground or air pollution. I think this is what I want to do. We're going to put this in here. Uh, actually... That should work. It would be nice if you actually connected. is this? This is almost getting busy enough that I would consider creating its own district. Oh, that's awkward. Hey, how about we just move this here? Or actually, no, you know what? We're going to move this down here. And you guys can be part of Ridge Bluff, and then I'll adjust as needed. Yep, yep, it is time. So I will be back in about three and a half to five minutes. I've got to get some coffee if you need to get up and grab something, food, drink, or a snack. This is a really good time to do it. I'll meet you back here very shortly. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks. I appreciate that. Oh my god, what on earth? Wow! <laughs> I'm not finding that body. <laughs> but that was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> Magic. From a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah. It's in my contract. What? You're kidding me. Wow. Who's there? <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, Serana. <laughs> Jump yeah. into target sector. Achievement unlocked. Explorer. Thousand-year flood. The river bursts its banks and rising water covers the land for miles around. Not for a thousand years has the river flooded to such an extent. Oh crap. Um. Wolf Chow. Oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> oh! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead. I mean, you are dead, but you know what I mean. Ah! Rude! Really? Ooh, okay. Not today. Oh my, what? Okay, that's just cruel. What the hell? I can't fight it in here. Oh god, it's... You know what? I'm gaining stamina faster than it's draining health. And in fact, it's restoring my health too, so this is kind of toothless. Whoop. Whoops. Oh. Oh, that was so close. Holy crap. How am I not... Uh-oh. Auto drive now disabled. I'd better back off. <laughs> I did not expect it to get the Albion truck. That's amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh, and it's back here again. Yeah. What the hell was that? Examine hole. Whatever is in that hole just enjoyed lunch on you. This should teach you to be cautious when encountering alien holes. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably. <laughs> I'm bigger than him. I'm no bully. Mm. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. Okay, I am back.
Thank you, Aranar. Okay, now, I'm just trying to think of the best routing here. We've got our train station. This is which district? Fairview, that's where most of our train stuff is, so I won't name it for the district. We'll name this the Chester Cargo Train Terminal. Now we need a cargo line. And I think we're going to put that right in here so that it's close to where they need to go to get the cars to the new oil refinery that we're building. Okay, yep, that's the right one. And we're gonna rename that as, or uh, recolor that as well. Okay, so the transportation is all dealt with. Hopefully, uh, oil stuff will use the rail instead. Get to where it needs to go. So that's taken care of. Now let's see if I've actually got room in here to build a refinery. If I couldn't build it here, though, I suspect I'm not going to be building it here. Maybe over here. It's probably okay to have pollution in the forestry area. They're both industrial, right? What's the worst that can happen? for is there's always the potential that this brand new where is it that this brand new cargo terminal could become unexpectedly popular so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the traffic not just here but getting into the area over here for example and coming through this residential area. Keep an eye on that. I'm not going to do anything right now. But the time could come when that starts to become a bit of an issue. Okay, we need to also just check and see that we're not low on trains or anything. Where do I even have my train yard? That's okay, the rail yard seems to be all right. 15 of 15 vehicles in use, though.
but I have no icon saying that I don't have enough vehicles for my routes. So, I guess I'm okay for now. I'm right on the edge. Oh, you know why? I just remembered. That was another thing we did last time. I have another whole train yard out here. I had forgotten all about that. So that's why we're okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Now, why are we bringing cargo to this? That's not how I imagined this getting used. truck from Grind of Rock returning. this one going cargo harbor room bringing textiles and wood It's probably too early to expect it to be used the way I expect it to be used since it just got built and there won't be any crude oil to be transported out into this direction, but we'll wait a little bit and see how it all goes. Transporting wood and a heck of a lot of rock. No problem, Aaron Lord. Do what you gotta do. was truly superfluous. Masterful counterpart. You're listening to Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tastes. Don't touch that dial. Yeah, must be morning. section of rail here today which is actually kind of making me think uh, I mean 
Traffic seems to be getting through here, no problem. That was three trains in a row, though. Nice U-turn, buddy. I'm not going to have a lot of room to expand this. I have no... Oh, actually, it's not true. I can put another rail in. I cannot do this, though. I cannot put a capacity expansion in. Not without rerouting the roads again, though. So... That's, that's okay. We can do the route the road thing if we have to. Garbage truck. That level crossing is going to bother me. Now, the thing I'm noticing, though, is that if the rail line bridges here and here. So maybe what I can do is just get rid of this and this and this. before you get to that point, ideally. Oh, I hate that. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. It's purely elevated. And we can come around here to about, say, here, and just drag that in over there. And now we have no more level crossing. I would almost say that I could connect this directly in here, but I could see that being issue prone as well. My thinking would be it would eliminate those bottlenecks where we get a couple trains coming across this main line and the one train comes through here. But I would almost have to do like a parallel line in here, which I suppose I could do. Be a little awkward because it's elevated.
Let's see how it works. I want to just check the actual line there. Oh, it automatically uses it. That's actually kind of nice. Okay. Wait, whoa, wait a, whoa, 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 whoa. Birch Springs. Sir, where, what, what do you, do we suddenly have another train on the line? That could be an issue. This is the only train on the line. Why did it come from down here? Did it despawn or go back for maintenance or what's the deal? We've got two cargo trains, I think, both going to the same cargo station. Oh, God. Oh, that's the same one used by the harbor route. Oh, boy. I wonder if I've made this too busy and now they all have to pile up. Okay. Yeah, that's the Chester train. It is getting there. I'm wondering if maybe I should use a different station for the Chester line, though. Maybe shift them down to this track instead of this one? I'll wait till this pulls out of the station. Once it does, I think I might try shifting that line. Plastics, concrete, wood, and vegetables. And to think, I actually set that Chester's whole thing up specifically to transport oil. Go figure. easier to select a different line than the one that's currently if you have this open this should stay here Ugh. okay fine we're gonna do it sorry Chester line I'll wait till the train delivers its stuff where's the Chester station the train should be pulling out here shortly there it is I think 
that's Cargo Railway. Cargo Harbor. Yeah, this is way too busy. Chester, there we go. Let's get your deliveries completed. And then I have to consign you to oblivion. Temporarily. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Lies. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to okay. stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Traffic in You're my city is to perfect. Second Moon Radio with J. Thomas Hornbuckle, and we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. And All right. on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You I'll can now this one. shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. We're, we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in I it, suppose you, uh, that could be responsible for the, uh, no use reminding you. for the problem. No use reminding you. Expect delays and drive safe. Returning. Okay, so they're going back to Birch Springs Rail Yard. Let's follow them. Maybe catch the new train assigned to the route as it pulls out. I love it. Holy crap. Train traffic is actually getting pretty considerable. To the point that maybe I want to take a look at this level crossing too, actually. That doesn't seem too bad. But again, something I might want to consider in the future, you know?
Okay, it looks like it's actually changed destinations. It looks like it's been assigned to a route. So I don't know that we need to follow that anymore. Where's this one going? Cargo Railway Route 2. I really need to give better names. This is why I'm getting more and more, uh, you know, concerned with naming things properly. It gets confusing when you just leave it with defaults. actually call this rail rail one I think I probably meant for this to be root not rail there we go Down we go. Let's see what's going on up here. Looks pretty clear here. I think this will be better. I kind of overloaded this one a little bit. Not that it was causing a genuine problem, but it was lowering efficiency a bit. Man, they've got a lot of demand for wooden furniture up there. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave them to do what they will with their access to a cargo terminal. And if they want to use this as a collection point, so be it. That, that's fine by me. Now, we did go to the trouble of setting up this whole oil refinery. Plus two industrial efficiency citywide, plus five percent interest in university education citywide, that's excellent. Plus one university graduation chance citywide, that's excellent. Uh, this is very noisy though. I wonder if maybe I should move this further away. Still no vehicles in use, but it does seem to be storing and sorting mail, which is a plus. You know what? It doesn't actually appear to take oil in, I'm noticing. I wonder if it's an oil refinery in name only. That would honestly be a little bit annoying. Lawkeeper AMZ Dior has just advanced. What 47 the? months. Holy I heck. haven't kept up my subscription to the Scrabble Club. Now they have started sending me threatening letters. Morning, Gord. AMZ, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for 47. What is with all the resubs today? Everybody's resubbing today. It's amazing. Thank you so much, AMZ. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Okay, now I'm confused. Puzzled. Oh, hang on a second. Wait just one moment. 
I don't think I need this little bit of power line here, which is very good news for my industry. Oh, never mind. The way it was set up, I did actually need that. But that's okay. We can reroute that into a more convenient location. Just gonna put that there and link that up there. And then I can expand this out a little bit further. So we're gonna take you and come over this way. Actually, maybe we will intersect right there. That's fine. We'll come down here and, 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 no. Just there. I guess that works. And we'll come along. There. Good, getting geared up for work in a bit. Thought I'd catch up on your city. Mine's losing money hand over fist. These local resources that you can set up seem to be a pretty big key to getting your city profitable. Also, the game is kind of intended to have you lean on the milestone progression bonus money that you get early on, uh, but there are ways to get around that later on. So let me just take a look here. Man, we're behind on grain and livestock again. Livestock doesn't surprise me. I haven't built much for livestock. How's material work? Oh, we're starting to get better with material goods, though. And there's so much here, though, that we need more of. So we're producing chemicals in surplus, machinery in surplus, concrete in surplus, and minerals in surplus. Let's look at our taxation. We're going to look at our industrial taxation. We're going to lower some of the taxes on some of these industries, I think. Some of the ones that are doing surplus, I think we can drop the taxes on these. That will encourage more work to be done with them. If you aren't aware, you can build livestock any place. Yes, that is true. I am aware. Doesn't have to be on the grain resource. Probably better there. No, it, it doesn't seem to provide any bonus, actually. The fertile land thing is specifically for growing all the, you know, the plant-based stuff, like your grain farms and your cotton farms and your vegetable farms and all that kind of stuff. What do we have here? Jeez, guys, be more careful. Holy crap. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. 
How delightful. Man, they Another really scattered. From our erstwhile listeners. <laughs> What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Okay, oh, and we can nice. do some more industry over got this way. clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. What? Oh, what? Let me guess. Lineage traced back what? to the great Hayden himself. Hmm? Why Let's is this see. elevated? Y'all got soul. Oh, yeah. Soul. Ridiculous. Hey, raison d'etre. Mm. Delicious. My sister say whoever you got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm. But I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the lay person. Now, okay. let's hear another one of those soulful camps. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Yep, Amanda. so for the city so this far today... If Mostly what we've been doing industry, is we've been kind of refining our districts roads, a little bit. I created a little Good Madison Garden you. district Seems over like here. Everyone's in a hurry to get somewhere fast. Uh, that was it's the game that named it, actually, not me. But can, um, I separated this out into its own little district here because oh, it's very wealthy. Well, we've already got Strawberry Crossing here. We've sort of expanded our city services to be a little more district-based. And I've set up... I attempted to set up a uh, cargo train terminal to benefit our crude oil industry, which seems to be about the only thing that's not actually taking advantage of it so far. But that's okay. It is getting used, so I presume it's having some kind of positive effect. And we got a new industrial signature building, the oil refinery which ironically enough does not actually seem to refine any oil, which is kind of unfortunate because it's the oil refinery that prompted me to put in this whole new cargo terminal over here. But, uh, yeah, or cargo station, I should say. But yeah, city's coming along pretty nicely. We are making some good progress. We are about three quarters of the way towards milestone 13. I do still have some development points. Yeah, I'm thinking our next development points, I might invest them into parking. I want to get the underground parking building and the automated parking building. So we're getting to the point where that's starting to become more of an issue. Or at the very least, we're getting to the point where that's an issue I want to tackle. related to the cargo terminal here. I did foresee some potential traffic impact. looks like regular car traffic. It doesn't look like delivery vans, and we've only got this one semi-truck. So I don't think it actually is the cargo terminal. But I think Hawthorne Street... I think it's time. I think it's got to upgrade. Sorry about your homes. Ooh, what's blocking this? I 
don't see anything that should be blocking that. That's weird. Oh, okay. Never mind. I see it now. That's going to cause mass chaos as everything recalculates routing based on the additional lanes I've just added. So I'm not going to worry too much about all the issues, but just need to keep our eyes on this. Hopefully that'll take care of a lot of the problem. Now I need to take a look at our turning lanes, though. Okay, we only have the one turning lane here. But most of the traffic seems to want to go straight through, so I don't know that that's necessarily a problem. seem to be getting through here okay so I think this will be oh yeah look at that oh yeah that's that's clearing up pretty nicely already nothing being built in here. What's going on here? I almost wonder if this section here might be better as an eight lane. So right now it looks like it's seven lane divided, like asymmetrical in favor of this direction, which I'm pretty certain I did to get these two left-hand turn lanes. So I don't know that I want to necessarily mess with that. Yeah, everything actually... It 
does look like it's clearing out pretty well, so I think it's working. I'm not going to break it again to fix it. Yeah, I think we've solved that, provided there weren't also time of day considerations. Oh, hello. Why are you out of power? What's going on with the grid? Oh, I probably messed something up and I redid all these wires this way. That is okay. Let's see if I can do something about that now. We're going to put a new transformer station right in here. And hopefully that will take care of the issue. Beautiful. What do you mean you need a road connection? You are literally on a road. Oh, wait a minute. You're on an elevated road. Yeah. Can I shift you over this way? Okay, now we've done some stuff, including building that uh, oil refinery that apparently improved to me oh my god. <laughs> the technical university is so close to full capacity, what the heck? extension That's perfect. I could probably get away with doing a full, proper commercial zone, but we'll do mixed uses. This is Second Moon Radio Classical for the Modern Age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper, using only their imaginations as guides through a silent audio masterpiece. Now, here we sit, listening at full volume, and our souls are transported. Hmm. But let us not tarry. On to the next episode. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming. All right, folks. As the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in Three luxury Three-minute warning our on our next break. You can break. now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Julie. We'll be back after this. 
Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, so that how looks is our this coming There's along? No sinking this boat, Glenda. It still doesn't look like we've got too too much in the way of um, air traffic coming in, or at least you know the people on the planes and whatnot. But I guess that's okay. Oh, nice, Ben. Very nice. How's it looking? I haven't seen them yet, of course. I am pretty curious, though. As a big Fallout fan, I wouldn't mind checking that out when it becomes available. Do we know when it's going to actually start airing? Or streaming, as the case may be? April 12th, 2024. Well, that's not too long. That's a few months away. Now, I've got this big, long stretch of land over here I can develop. small bite into our industrial demand. Do we know anything about the story of the series? Is it based on any particular Fallout game, or have they just done their own story in their own corner of the world with new characters and situations and locations? I'm honestly not sure which I would prefer. I think I prefer the idea of it all being new, because the games are already well-trodden, it would be nice to learn more about something different. Ultra, how are you doing? We're just about to go on break, but it's wonderful to see you. Here, let me just pause for a moment and I will get you shout outs. There we go. Chat after break, excellent. Sounds good to me. Uh, fun fact, any promotional team for toys, TV, etc. always drop photos a few months before release. Yeah, I'm not surprised. And this is the first I've heard of the series. Oh, I've been, I, I've kind of had half an eye on it for a couple of years now. The Fallout TV series should be a lot of fun. Uh, so it's good to hear that it's going to be coming out soon. All right, folks, I need to take a quick break. So if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, this will be a very good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in just a bit. And then I will give you guys a little bit of a city tour for those who have not been here since I started the stream. I don't think I've ever had this happen before. The stories say he sought to claim is someone there. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? It's not obvious by now. The only thing keeping this a park and not a prehistoric hunting ground are the fences. Let's see what we can do to improve it. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. <laughs> I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Ah! That's not the time to detect a trap, sir. And the fire shows uh, me something new. Damn it. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> What's 
going on? That's not how you barbecue. Whoa! <laughs> um, oops. That was maybe not my best move. There we go, finally! personal guarantee here that you will not regret. Oh my god. That fox just got nailed. <laughs> they call them silent machete kills, but they definitely don't see all that seem all that silent to me. Well, being raided, Alera, Eld, Jaduri, and all librarians report to hospitality stations immediately. Have library guards at the ready. A fatal raid. Thankfully, that was seconds after I just saved the games. <laughs> Okay, I call BS on that. Uh, Piper. Okay, I am back. Ultra's definitely seen the airport. She's built one herself. But yeah, we do have an international airport now. It's not getting used a lot because my city's not nearly as massive as uh, Ultra's city is. Thank you, Aaron Lore, Sketchy, and Ultra. Hey, Sketchy, how's it going? It's good to see you. Oh, you meant the smaller one. <laughs> oh, I know what you're getting at. Huh? Yeah, let's watch this for just a moment so Ultra can see. It's going pretty good, Sketchy. Thank you. How are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. Yep, the planes definitely do things. I actually have clips I need to add to the rotation in the clip show. Like this. Oh, yep, there you go. Two planes taking off while another one lands in between them. Oh, uh, did I say a plan? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So that's a thing. <sighs> two planes taking off, two planes landing on the same runway at the same time at some very interesting speeds. Tower's gonna be mad about that one. I think the tower is just perpetually drunk, honestly. What the hell was that? <laughs> that was a very unique approach path.
I think eventually that's got to be something that they try to fix. And this is why Ultra needed to see this wildness. Yes, it is. Yes, it very much is. Okay. Uh, oh, what do we have going on here? Okay, so we've had more interesting stuff happen. into the prison list. I'm still kind of trying to get a handle on how cargo terminals and such work. Uh, okay, so we've got... I set, this, I set this new cargo train terminal up specifically to benefit the oil field because I built... Uh, I got a new signature building, the uh, oil refinery, which ironically enough does not actually seem to refine oil, it just provides bonuses. Uh, so that's fun. But, <clears throat> I wanted this oil field specifically, and secondarily the other farms and uh, resource areas in this region to have better access to transit. So I built this new cargo train terminal, and it seems to be not being used as a shipping out point so much as a receiving point from our other cargo uh, areas, which is interesting. And it also appears to be, yeah, it's storing wood, textile, cotton, rock, grain, concrete, metal, electronics, plastics okay, and chemicals, which at least have some connection to the, uh, the oil industry, furniture, coal, Please and vegetables. If you there is zero usage until from the actual oil use itself. No crude oil, no refined oil. Updates to our power grid. The city will be so I need to... I, 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 to remain calm during these breaks in service and I already fixed it. On the city's website Damn it. And how to plan for these temporary My power events. system is fine. This has been a local uh, yeah, so I need to I need to figure out the ins and outs of uh, cargo transit Epitome a little bit better, I think. At home or wherever you roam. We're, we're live, I find it very hard um, to predict gonna, what's going to be transported to and from where. Uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you uh, you already oh. know about it. No use reminding you. That's Meanwhile, fun. expect delays and drive safe. Grind a and rock. And on to our main feature story. At the least the rock is not flammable, one would presume. As the area is more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes. Firefighting helicopter dispatched. Or so that would be it Jesse. now. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks. Oh, I've come up with a new, well, uh, new to me design. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, okay. I've actually decided I don't care for this design with the roundabout in the center. Uh, let's... I have a design I'd like better. Can we get rid of you entirely? How do I get rid of our roundabout? There we go. That does it. I like this. Sorry about the factory. This actually uh, seems to work quite well, interestingly enough. So I think we're gonna do this instead.
know, this might be a little bit too close in. We'll have to see how this works. Nope, it actually works. But that might not be enough space in between, so I might need to shift these over some. Yeah, so we can't really do an off-ramp there. seem to be working okay. No problems that I'm noticing at least. I don't think I need to bother with a roundabout here, but here might be good. you know what that might be okay I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't think I'm gonna be building out there anywhere and we'll just put that in there Okay, let's review services. Looks like healthcare is now ridiculously good. Hopefully average health continues to increase. Crematorium availability is still good. Healthcare availability is really, really, really good. Cemetery availability, we don't need to worry about that. Cemeteries seem to fill very slowly, which is nice. Garbage, ooh. Landfill availability is not great, but garbage processing is really nice. So I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I'm going to need another elementary school again, and I may need another college soon as well. You haven't come across any information about why high schools are so weird, have you, Ultra? By any chance? I have one, do I have one high school or do I have two? I have one high school with barely anybody in it and yet lower and higher tiers of education, they just get used all the time. It's like, do they just spend a single month in high school or something? I'm not sure what the deal is. It just really feels weird to me the way it works. 14 months to graduation. They should be spending more time there. At some point, your schools were profitable. I'm not worried about the profits so much as I'm just worried about the number of kids that are actually in them. Because the high schools barely seem to be used, and yet it doesn't seem to stop them from going to college and university. High schools are just essentially prison, but for kids, then I need better prison enrollment rates. Uh, 
is industrial doing? Okay, seems to be good. Yeah, we need to work on some of this. This convenience food market is ridiculous. We import so much. Textiles as well. Travel time is a factor in why students wouldn't want to go away to the far high school. I mean, most of the populations in this area or over in here, I could maybe see over here, but even that's not that far. Plus, I've got transit options out the wazoo. I mean... They can take the frickin' subway. It's just a couple stops. Where... Oh, actually, do I have a... Do I have a subway station near the high school, I wonder? It's not very far from the high school. Okay, there's no transit option that takes them from the station directly to the door there. But I think I can fix that. I'll give them an express bus route. How's the street looking here? That's the subway sta stop. Uh... schools on that road so if I put a bus stop pairing right here that's an easy walk from the station They allow work credit, maybe. Oh, shoot. I'm out of buses. I need a new bus terminal. That's fine. Well, we have this new road up here. I'll put one in up this way. and I don't think I need the extended garage yet.
didn't give it a very direct route, did I? How delightful! Another letter from our erstwhile listener. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh. Okay, so it's got to use the highway. Y'all got clarinets and violins. Oh my God! How? Okay, um, I might need to review my road layout, too. I didn't realize traffic was so constrained in how they could get from one side to the other. I'm sure he could get to where it's going in a more direct fashion, but probably not in a faster way. Oh, man, okay. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explosions. Funk, by contrast, is a terribly modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the layers. Now, let's hear another one of those soul Well, the uh, bus is going where it needs to go. We haven't had the chirper all day yet. Uh, our story this Industries are going bust yeah, left and right. So many friends are out of jobs. So it's kind of a boom and bust situation where industry is booming and then busting and booming and busting again. Plenty of open jobs in the industry sector, see? Six minutes apart. The city has the best internet connection ever. I can download everything I ever wanted. Doesn't feel safe going out with crime. Interesting. We never did get around to reviewing crime, did we? As the Aurora Borealis uh, is expected to jail availability is one, prison That's availability is right. excellent, crime probabilities one percent. People are too picky. Holy crap! Prime crime probability of one percent. There are 439 criminals. And the success rate seems to be 60 percent. So maybe that's not ideal. <laughs> uh, but. At least the probability of a crime actually happening is quite low. Where do we need to improve? I don't see anywhere that really needs to improve. Wait a minute. Average crime probability of 1% with a number of crimes per month, 65 a month? With a 60%? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I guess I could add more police. But that 1% isn't the chance of a crime happening. It's the chance that a given person is a criminal. When you put it that way, maybe things are a little bit dire. Not entirely sure how to deal with that, though. I could add the extensions to the garages to give them more vehicles, but they're already not really using the vehicles. find it again now. Uh, hang on. Yeah, because that bus, it, it came from over here, went around here, over to the highway here, then across to here, and it's actually serving up here. I think maybe I need to take a look at this area here and see if I can't improve things in this way. How many 
lanes as that. That's a six lane. Oh, no, wait. I was going to maybe look at turning that into a highway, except I don't think that's really going to work. You can't put the transit on the highway. be a faster way to get people over though I mean it's no wonder this highway interchange where is the highway interchange hello highway where did you go where even is it what the hell I have forgotten my city layout, apparently. Oh, it's right here. I guess that's not as bad as I thought. So it came up here. This weird looking but shockingly well functioning underground highway surfacing exchange. So I guess it's got to be getting close to its route soon. Well, we got a little bit of a backup over here too. the street narrows. Okay, I think we need to upgrade this bit of road. Oh, it's already upgraded. That's curious. Berserp, how's it going? Holy moly plot twist. That's I love that combination of emotes, actually. That's really fun. How are you doing? It's good to see you. So why does it look like this road narrows if it's already at that width? Oh. It's the difference between divided and undivided. Okay. I'm doing pretty well, thank you. Do I bump this up to six lanes, maybe? They're going to love me for doing that. How are things going for you? I hope all is well. I can't do that. There's a subway line right here. I can do that. Something here is blocking it. We've got a plaza that's blocking it. <laughs> that's fun. This music makes me think of Final Fantasy Tactics, which is a game you should play if you can. I would be more interested in continuing my playthrough of the Pixel Remasters. I'm thinking January I'm going to start doing Final Fantasy V. Well, we cleared out the traffic problem. Even if the roads look a little bizarre now. This might be our bus, actually. I think this is the one. It's already got a passenger. What's the name of the high school? 
Aspen. Oh, actually, where, where was that? Aspen Express line is two lines. Add it to the list, turn-based strategy game, which is very heavy on story and lore. Okay, that does sound appealing. Where can I stash this temporarily? If you like Valkyria Chronicles, you've got the idea of tactics. I like Valkyria Chronicles a lot, and actually, I need to replay those. Because it's been a long time since we went through them. And technically, I never finished either of the ones that I streamed. I got pretty close to the end of the first one, but I never got there with the second, like that, with uh, Valkyria Chronicles 4. Police thing is bothering me. What options do we have for policing? We have a prison, but adding more prisons isn't going to help. I almost wonder if another police headquarters might help. But I have a hard time imagining that it would really do that. And on paper, it looks like we're fine. But the number of crimes per month is going up, despite the fact that the police report looks good on the map. Let's just look at police coverage. Police coverage looks great. So I have a hard time imagining why adding more police would be of any benefit. Like even out here at the actual airport, I mean, I guess we're kind of getting into a little bit of this color over here. Maybe that's what's doing it. Maybe it looks more green than it actually is. How delightful! Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Oh, let me guess. Lineage traced mm. back to the great Hayden himself, hmm? Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Oh, yeah, soul. A raison d'etre? Mm. I guess I could try to get the CIB. My sisters say whoever you got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm, but I told her that ain't funk. 
That's classical. Yes, indeed. That's eight points, though. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, How many is development for the points do I get next now, milestone? Let's hear another one of those soulful camps. Well, Industry I guess in the region is on 13, the rise, I'll have 15. I won't be able to well, no, I won't be able to do everything I want to do. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. We're we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, we you are might getting want pretty to close wait a little though. while until everything clears up. If you're in Actually, it, it looks you, a lot closer uh, here than it looks know here. About it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Uh, I think I am going to attempt some better traffic flow, though. I've wanted a bridge from here to here forever. I think we're going to have to sacrifice these folks here. My apologies. Just gonna de oh, they're already dezoned. I guess because I took the road away. Uh, might need to get rid of some of you guys too, because that's a little curved. Get rid of that. Redo some of this. Oh, I, well, that might have been a little too much. That's okay. Forget that we have tram lines on there, so we need to upgrade these again. And I'll need to take that into account too when I uh, put stuff in. For Zerp asked me, Gord, what is your favorite game of all time and why? Oh, that's a tough one, For Zerp. I think I'll have to go with The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. It's the perfect blend of fantasy and RPG elements for me. Plus, the fact that you can't ride mounts just knocks it out of the park. <laughs> After all, who needs horses when you have fast travel? <laughs> and I get a kick out of avoiding that tantalizing kappa word in the dialogue. World building in a game at its best, I say. Wow. A little factually incorrect in some areas, but not bad. Uh, what badge is that, Aranor? Oh, the 1K Bits badge. Damn, thank you, Preserve. All right. Uh, yeah, because Tangia works through bits. you do it by the Tangio website directly, yes. Actually, I guess for this, I could do a highway connection. Uh, no, that's uh, four away. I don't want four away. Oh, 
Also, I think they leave off the Tangier protections on some of the alpha stuff. Was able to break some stuff later. I saw you were able to do a few interesting things over an ultra stream a while back. Okay, since those are already screwed, we're going to upgrade this road to a higher capacity, I think. Except I can't. Vertigo Square, you're gonna have to move, sorry. You're inconveniently located. You are going to need to go there, right next door. Stara asked me, how does this Tangia thing work anyway? In a galaxy far, far too convoluted for its own good, a system known as Tangia operates. Picture this, a form of virtual currency earned merely by watching the stream, participating, or perhaps even by donating during galactic events. These Tangia can be traded in for requests, such as choosing the next game our streamer engages in. It's like controlling the Jedi Council with pocket change, if you ask me. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I think, um, yeah, the Clone Wars narrator is a great one. I love that. Oh, now I have to rezone all of this crap. Uh, what did we have down here? I guess we're gonna want a little bit of commercial, so let's do some commercial in here. Maybe not there. Do some commercial there. We're gonna do some high density offices on here, and we're gonna do some high density residential in there. And I don't remember if I had any transit stops here, so we should take a look at these. Oh, no, I perfectly destroyed everything in between two stops. So we should be good. Also factually incorrect too, yes. It tried. It acted like I paid with channel points, but it was bits. Thank you very much for the bits on Stara. The Tangia stuff is interesting. Uh, I think it'll probably be better once we are out of our extra life fundraising thing though because they have a weird separation where if you're doing charity fundraising through Tangia you have to be in multiple platform mode which is what you use if you're streaming basically to anything other than Twitch so if you've got YouTube or whatever the other platforms are like kick and all that it'll work but you you have a separate mode if you're just using Twitch. And so what I'm looking forward to now, because there's apparently a big kerfuffle with um, Stream Elements as well as Stream Labs, and I'm going to want to switch away from using Stream Elements completely, I will want to use Tangia for my alerts. But I can't because I'm not in pure Twitch mode which is weird. I don't know why it's tied that closely together, but we'll see what happens. You can do points, but most people don't set it up for points. I think Ultra does, if I'm not mistaken. If she's still hanging out, she might be able to clarify that. Uh, okay, and are we going to want... First of all, actually, let me do a little bit of upgrading here. We probably want that bridge lit up. Uh, we 
probably also want it carrying power. What do you mean, no pedestrian access? You have plenty of pedestrian access. You know what? Never mind. I don't want to deal with that problem. You're just going to be a pure commercial entity. There you go. Now that sorts out the ability of the highway to carry power. We also want it to carry water and sewage. But it can't, so we'll just have to run a pipe manually. Now, I may need to redesign the roads around here as well if I want higher capacity road coverage. Right now, we've got decent connection in here, but it narrows a lot in here. It's not really designed for high volume traffic. I might want to just kind of remove a bit here and connect this up and then redo some stuff in here. I don't think she does. That's one of the biggest Tangia abusers you would have noticed. Fair, fair. I'm not going to question you on that. You, of all people, would definitely know. <laughs> I know they're walking across on the highway, too. Interesting. So that gives me the bridge that I've always wanted. Where did I put that subway station? Buses, the Aspen Express line. Oh crap, okay. I think part of the reason is I keep putting these bus stops right at the intersection. That always works out so very well for me. What kind of future does music have if it doesn't look to its past? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. Okay, let's have a look at how those are actually and doing when they are not plagued by accidents. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end Okay, high -end so stores, one of them at least is getting some fairly decent usage. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Since it's effectively so a school bus does. line, let's That's make it yellow. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if that's actually going to have any impact. Oh, actually, it does look like the number of students is going up. That's interesting. Now, I don't know if that's abnormally fast.
education. See, I don't want... I, I would love statistics on the number of students specifically, not citizens that have a given education level. seems to be working okay. Yeah, I know, Aaron Lord, but it implies that if you've got students that are, you know, poorly educated, that means they've already finished with their um, their elementary school. It doesn't tell you how many are in that school. And just because you've got citizens that are, you know, uneducated, they might still be in elementary school. So I want the different breakdown. I want to know how many people are actually in my elementary schools, how many people are actually in my high schools, etc., etc. That's a very closely related statistic that they're giving me, but it's not the same statistic, and I'm interested in the differences. I mean, I can look at it this way. You know, it looks like I actually need more colleges now. Madison College. Oh, but interesting. The schools do, but it's weird that they would give you this overview bar graph interface without the ability to actually get that specific thing there. Moved in, moved away. That's climbing faster than I would like. No death waves in sight, which is nice. How's transit looking here? Eight months to graduation, dropout rate only one percent. I guess I could put another college out this way. We've got a nice residential area out here. What's the noise pollution on this place? Fairly significant, huh? Where would I even put a college? Three minute warning on ads. This is gonna be a slightly longer break, guys. This is about when I'm gonna make myself some tea for the afternoon. especially because this is already a pretty big collector route here. If I were to reroute that, that could work. But I've also got potential this way. Although there's nothing really to lead that into, unless I want to loop the highway around directly, which I guess I could do.
It's not like I'm lacking space for it. Tell you what. Sorry, folks. Need to rejigger this entire interior area here. Oh, whoops. What what building is that? Oh, that's one of my subway stations. Okay, well let's let's work with the subway station. We're gonna keep that where it is to avoid too much disruption. Square, you're gonna have to move again. Sorry. finish with this as soon as I get back from break because it is about that time so I'm going to go make myself some tea if you guys need to get up grab some food drink snacks whatever you need to do this is a good time to do it I'll meet you back here in maybe six to eight minutes or so this time wow I am worthless tonight there we go that's better Rather not revive him. You're okay. Oh, <laughs> that was not Bembe. Oops. <laughs> I'm very sorry for attaching a number of mines directly to your body. Uh oh. Auto drive now disabled. I'd better back off. I did not expect it to get the Albion truck. That's amazing. <laughs> I didn't even know that you could do this. You're carrying so much that you can hardly move. You'd better drop something soon. Oh boy. By popular opinion, your channel has gifted you 100 tame duck billed platypus. Um. Execute Order 66. Oh, good God. Oh, my God, they just... Oh, <laughs> and it's on fire. Oh, it's a... Uh, wow. The ice cube factory's on fire. You know your city has problems when... 
So this is a colossal size map, which is quite a bit larger than the largest available in the base game. And it is a an island plate style, so it's kind of like tectonic plates that are generated as smaller islands instead of giant continents. That looks good to me, sir. What in the world? This is why you gotta be very careful tossing pebbles into wells. You might accidentally create a volcano. Wasn't I just using Obi-Wan? Do it. Back. That ant go. I like that their eyes start glowing red as soon as you go hostile on them. Aloy? Errand! I love how expressive they are in this one. The facial animation is so amazing. Whoops. Yeah, I guess that should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. What's wrong with... <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Oh, hey, my what God. what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. Oh my god, I've never seen that before. That's amazing! Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Alera, I have a special task that would be perfect for you. However, I would just be signing your death warrant if I were to give it to you now. When you are more skillful, return to me and I may give it to you then. Perfect. So you're basically saying I'm an incompetent wreck. Thanks. Oh, you s what? <laughs> Careful, Uthgird. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. 
Well, at least you didn't actually get hit by the arrows. Oh my god! Oh boy. Well, that was ill-advised. Oh! <laughs> so? Leave her alone. Why do I always find the spider caves? Bone horror. Yeah, oh god. I hate this. That was really no match at all. You have a rifle. Why do you run up to point blank range? Now I'm gonna put a bit of a rush on this, which means we might not actually get to out. Uh, wow. That's okay. That is a rite of passage every Valheim player must go through. You're knocking out achievements too? Oh my god. What was that? Come You're as bad as Piper. My god, stop standing in my line of literal fire. Looking for suspect male. Was last seen on dock 27. Oh my god, the crap, this is so good. Hey. Ugh. Hey. Damn it. Wow. Open up, say off. Hello? Oh, well, I got him. <laughs> oh, shoot. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, shoot. Okay, luckily he's a terrible shot. Oh. 
I deserve that, let's be honest. Back! Hey, oh. You are in my backyard here, sir. Dead. Oh, I got the mandibles. Am I being attacked by chickens? Mind you, I haven't... Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took slightly longer than I thought. I made just a bite to eat as well. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. Thank you, Aaron Lord. Thank you for Zerp. Okay. Oh, whoops. These need to go. The rest of that seems all right. Now we need a better link in here. Uh, what do we have here? What is... Oh, that's our medical clinic. We probably want to keep that relatively intact. But I think Hawthorne Street is going bye-bye. So, where are we going to put the clinic? Not in here, because this is going to be another sort of major thoroughfare here. So, let's move. I think that'll do. Wait, whoa. Hey, hang on. What the... Oh, okay. No, I guess I still had that. Con that that's just a commercial entity. All right. You guys can all... Why won't it let me drag? Weird. There. You can go. You can go. And you can go. And... That's a bridge. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's not making things easy for me, is it? Maybe we redo this bridge, too. It's probably higher than it needs to be. better. See, I don't understand why these should have to be bulldozed afterwards, but okay, it says they do. So we're just gonna do it. Fix the zoning, and I think we're gonna add some more.
So that all looks much better integrated and connected. And much better upgradability as well, if I'm not mistaken. This is Second Moon Radio Classical for the Modern Age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper, using only their imaginations as guides through a silent audial masterpiece. Now, here we sit, listening at full volume, and our souls are transported. Hmm. But... Let us not tarry. On to the next episode. <clears throat> uh, our story this hour. Kim is on scene outside an what? Ab abandoned building. That's right, Jim. This decaying shell is a symbol of the industrial decline sweeping the city. People are being laid off. The industrial sector is on the verge of collapse. And worryingly, crime is on the rise. Thanks, Kim. Always got to watch out for crime, not to mention collapsing buildings. We'll have more after this. Industry in the region. I love how the they rise, panic over one doing well, collapsing building or abandoned no building, rather. This bug, Glenda. Uh, okay, what do we got going on here? Uh, that's all highway, so I can't really zone there. I think most of our zoning here is okay. it looking oh I think I accidentally um, did I trash some of my transit routes I may have trashed some of my transit routes We'll see how it goes. That's a little bit of a frightening intersection. I guess on the whole it's not that bad. I've seen worse. The kicker is going to be how busy it gets now that it's got this highway connection to the other side that it never had before. Did I? Oh man, I cut off the river completely. We're gonna pretend that there's a, some sort of construction underneath that allows the water to flow. I think that's what we're gonna do with that.
not noticing anything popping in over here. Oh, because... Okay, that's still zoned low density. Before anything does, though, I think what I'm going to do is we've got this handy subway station right here. Uh, where is this? That's Hawthorne Street in Coleridge Bluff. Instead of Underground Subway Station, the generic name. Just call this the Hawthorne Subway Station. And we've got that road up there. I think what we're going to do is we're going to add a pedestrian walkway. Right from here to here. And then we're going to rezone so that stuff can actually pop up and grow here. And since it is really close to the subway station, we're going to make that medium density. What's that? That's the medical clinic. Okay, so we're not going to have anything popping in right there. Yeah, that looks good. And this will probably see some good use. I think people will like having that roadway connection. Although... Let me redo that. They could probably use a crosswalk. Since the subway's on the other side. enough. I'm going to actually do a little bit of decoration as well. space in the city here. And then we're going to add a couple of trees in near the road. Or maybe not because they're going to grow to be too large eventually. Uh, okay. Fair enough. That'll have to do.
Okay, now, um, back to that transit kerfuffle. I think what I probably ought to do gonna move these bus stops put them here and here and I'm gonna add a couple more right where the subway gets on and off Almost makes me wonder if I should have put the pathway back here. You know, around through here and down this way. But I'm going to leave it. It should be fine. Okay, how's everything else coming along here? <clears throat> okay, one thing I don't think I want is a crosswalk here. If they want to get from here to this side, they can use these ones here. Crossing a highway, maybe not the best plan. space out here. What do we need? I was actually... I was looking in this area originally trying to identify an area where I could put in a college and then I kind of lost track of that need. We should probably get back on with that. This seems like it would not be a terrible spot for one if I can get them there. And we do have Chester Street here. So that might not be the worst place in the world. In fact, are these elevated that rails? Was truly superfluous. This one's Master elevated, that one's not You're elevated. To Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tastes. Don't touch that dial. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive See, safe. I'm thinking about dragging this Local road down here as well. are in for a real treat tonight. As the Aurora Boring Improving connectivity here, but the way the these train sky. lines are That's set up, right, Jim. Don't forget to look up this makes that it a little awkward. A so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to delete this. I'm going to leave that where it is. I don't think I can come straight through here because, yeah, that's... That's where the track elevates, or it, it, where it's supported. And unfortunately, that is a little awkward, so I might have to actually redo the rail here too. Just leave it there.
curve too tight. Ridiculous. There we go. So that seems to work. Now I need to get these hooked in somehow. Which <laughs> may be easier said than done. Like we're gonna have to do this one and then we'll reconnect those other ones. Two meters. We will rise up over sixty six meters. Just join these in before the rise. So we're good there. And now we're already elevated. So we can come along here. our connection there or not as the case may be or not as the case may be uh, come on there we go and then we need to make this connection as well and that is still ground level. Okay. Perfect. So now Sterling Street can come down and meet up with Chester Street. Right about there. And that means we've now got this whole big open area much more easily accessible that we can plop in a college. Among other things. Now, where does it want the road? It wants the road there, so let's see. We're going to parallel this road, I think. Uh, what the? Once again, we're just going to assume the water's slowing under there. Why can I... This is... What do you mean? What is wrong with this? This was supposed to make things easier. Fine. Um... Okay, that works. Come out about 40 meters. in our college, maybe over here near the riverside. I'm gonna add a nice college library over here. I don't think we're gonna need to put the extensions on it yet. And we're gonna confusingly call it Lake River College. Now, 
that's all well and good. It's looking nice. We've got all our transit routed, trains are going by, etc., etc. But colleges, they're gonna need stuff. So actually, I wonder if maybe Lake Lane should. instead of an alleyway. So we're gonna need to build some infrastructure around the college. There's gonna need to be some housing in the area, that we're gonna need some commercial development in the area. Maybe not a lot, but some. go in and throw down some medium development. We'll put some right in there and there. For a little bit of commercial, we're going to put a block in there and then some proper stuff, actual commercial right there. Some higher density commercial and go here along the major roads. And then I think the rest, let's do some row housing in here, and here, and here, and we'll just let that develop. We also need to check our districting. Yeah, okay, so now we need to drag that down. And this will still be part of, oh, that's Fairview Town. I might need to look at dividing the district. For now, I think it'll be fine. Where does the subway run? I know it's in the region. There's a station right in here. It's right over here, is it? So it drops down around here. It comes to a station. Okay, so it's, it's this green line here. So it drops down here. There's a station right there. Then it pops back up over here. So there's two stations there. Then there's another one over here. subway to have a little bit of a connection down this way. <clears throat> That's going to be really heckin' awkward, though. So don't know that it's really necessary because it's not that far away. We might make do for now temporarily with just a taxi shelter. Put that in right here on Cherry Street. actually need two. One is fine. How's bus routing looking? We'll 
don't think we really have any to speak of. I suppose with all the rail tracks right here, I mean, we do have a passenger train already right here. I guess what I could do, um, let's maybe drop a couple bus stops here and I will just edit this red bus line. Six students already, not too bad. How are we looking? Okay, college is looking much more solid. Oh. Should think about putting a park in the area. What can we do there? Maybe a sports park of some description. Listening to Second Moon Radio with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. And we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today we by go. an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual uh, rewards employed. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the okay. short term. Okay, I think this I'd is like going to work out pretty That's well. What we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank body. you, Professor. It is a question of priority. Uh, how are things down here? The city's export division. Sources tell Traffic us is that looking our okay. city has more services I haven't than completely we know what to do destroyed with. anything. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local people. That's right. Economy. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. It's interesting to me that Dale Street here between the two areas isn't busier than it is. I wonder if that's a time of day factor. All right, let's, oh yeah, okay. We're starting to get a fair number of abandoned buildings around, so I guess we need better do a little bit of rezoning here. We got here, you're industrial, you're industrial, you were industrial, now you are going to be low density office space. It's not too bad, okay. Oh, hello. 
lovely. I love how they don't bother sending fire trucks anymore, they just send the helicopter. We have one firefighting helicopter in the entire city. And I swear it's responsible for putting out every single fire that we get now. If you paid for the toy, wouldn't you want to use it? I mean, you're not wrong. Do I need to, though? That's another thing we need to do is we haven't really evaluated our fire defense. Average fire hazard is a little higher than I would like, so I'm going to use that to justify the purchase of another toy. I think we're going to put that out here. We've got lots of space right by the wastewater treatment plant. So we're going to pop that in. here. I'm just building this little offshoot so that it can easily get to whichever side it needs to get to without having to cross directly over. So we're going to put that in right there. And let me just make sure it's got power. Yes. And water. Yes. Looks good. And I'm not going to set operating districts. It'll just be citywide. So now we don't have the one measly little helicopter trying to fight every single fire in the city. Not that we have that many fires, but as the city grows, I'm sure the number will increase. That also gave us a bit more XP towards getting to... Wait a minute its huge city. We're so close now. <laughs> I love that we're working our way towards huge city, but our population is only 48,000. The town I live in in real life has a larger population than that. usage going on. That's pretty nice. They're using the taxi stand as well. Oh, that was fast. Wow, a lot of students are starting to go to Lake River College. That is actually really good to see. I like that. Oh, what do we have here? Why is this so bunched up? What the heck? Oh, this whole area. Oh my god, traffic is just a nightmare here. This actually seems like it might be a good time to debut the first brand new sound effect I've added to my soundboard in probably a few years. If it isn't the consequences of your own action. So now we have to sort this all out. Oh my god. It should preserve. That's Amelia Tyler. 
It's not from Baldur's Gate 3, but she is the narrator of Baldur's Gate 3. That's actually sound from a TikTok that she released, uh, I guess a few weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago, probably shortly after Baldur's Gate 3 came out. Just why is everything here so snarled up so badly? What is going on? Just now finally doing your playthrough with your co-op gaming friend. We're very early on, headed to save the druid at the beginning. Very nice. I will be getting back to Baldur's Gate 3 at some point soon. It's been a while since I've worked on it. I think in December we're going to start getting back into Baldur's Gate again because we haven't even met Minsk yet. We have to meet Minsk. This is your first playthrough? Holy crap. It's such a good game. I do love it. I've just been very distracted with Starfield and City Skylines. Been waiting for him to have it for co-op? Yeah. Oh my god, where is everything going? Everything is... take a look at what kind of roads we have here. Okay, so these are already bigger roads. Most of them. This one's not. That actually, that could be part of the problem here. Time for some judicious upgrading, I think. Industry's gonna love me for this. But that is the price of doing business in my town. That road looks fine. We're not gonna worry about that one right now. Now let's just fix up our zoning. Which actually doesn't look like it needs all that much fixing, honestly. Looks fairly good. We'll see how they react to the additional capacity, whether that's enough to correct things or if it needs some more work. He's playing a thief and I'm trying to play a non-shady warlock and he's always stealing everything in sight. I feel like he's going to get us in weird situations, but that's the danger. It's also the joy because Baldur's Gate 3 is the best game in history for reacting with and just kind of going with the flow of whatever you as a player want to do. So if you end up in shady situations, the game is going to, it's going to work with that. You're not going to end up in trouble, except in the sense that you might be in trouble within the story, you know? You're not going to actually do anything horrible to the story, in all likelihood. Uh, also, about two minutes, guys. We have another break coming up in about two minutes. Geez, we have a lot of traffic trying to turn up this way. I suspect I might be able to solve a lot of problems just by... Here. Come on. Just by doing... This.
that eases your mind on it a bit. Yeah, no, the game is unbelievable. That was kind of one of their design cornerstones, which most companies would kind of back away from in terror, is to just try to stay out of the player's way as much as possible in the same way that the best dungeon masters tend to. It's an immense amount of work in a video game, but they have managed to pull it off absolutely brilliantly. Like, I, I've done that kind of writing work before, and it just... I can hardly conceive of how much work they had to put in to pull off what they've done. It's almost unthinkable. Epitome Frankly, at home. I can't like I, I can't blame other development companies from being terrified of players regarding Baldur's Gate 3 as the new standard, because I can't imagine a company in existence beyond Larry and themselves that could hope to try to live up to that. It's not a question of being lazy; it's just a question of logistics more than anything. We'll be back after this. I'm super familiar with 5e, so right now I'm controlling my warlock in Shadowheart, and he drives his rogue and the Gith Yankee. Ah, Lazel. Lazel is awesome. Uh, it is about time for me to start that break, though, so if you guys need to get up and grab anything, this will be a normal break. I don't need to make tea or anything. Uh, so this will just be about three and a half to five minutes. If you need to get up and grab food or a drink or a snack, now's the time. I'll meet you back here in a few. Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Just Aloy. as soon as I finish looting. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Just give me half a second. Priorities first, sir. want to eat, they will therefore wander in. Or they might just chase the jeep. Thanks, Instara. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Kill. <laughs> wow. Oh crap. Oh. Oh god. No. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I thought I was far enough away that he wouldn't see. <laughs> Oh crap. Uh, okay. Hang on a second here. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. 
<laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> I read your detective books wonderfully over the top. Wait, is that supposed to be Douglas Adams? Oh my god. It's Douglas Adams and Terry Pratchett. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. Thanks. Not you. Oh. like it might actually get you up to the elevation you need to get up onto that platform up there. Ah, you move too much. I'm hardly moving at all, silly. How's that? Nice and still for you now? When you die... Okay, I am back. Yeah, exactly, on Stara. And the problem is... Even if the developers are willing and maybe even eager to do that themselves, they're going to be answerable to their publishers and or other money people who are probably not going to be as eager. Thank you, Erinor. Uh, okay, good news. It looks like we have cleared up pretty much all of that traffic. flowing pretty good now. Now we will have to keep an eye on that and see again once all this develops in and more traffic generates and all that, but uh, I think I think that's looking better. And I think fixing this, you know, making it less necessary for cars to double back on themselves to go up here is probably going to help a great deal too. <clears throat> Although now stuff is going to back up at the harbor, I'm sure. That's not that bad. I think it'll be okay. How's the garbage situation in the city? Ooh. Uh, landfill availability. Did I not check that earlier in the stream? Was that not closer to 70%? Wait, what? That's just weird. Then again, the, there, there are dump trucks coming and picking up garbage pretty much constantly from the landfill, so maybe that's why, but 30% jumps every few seconds seems like a lot. But if it's working, I'm not gonna tamper with it for now. How's Coleridge Bluff looking? You're complaining about rent. You can go away. In other gaming-related news, I did pick up some additional DLC for ATS, by the way, American Truck Simulator. I don't know when I'm going to get around to playing that again. Probably not this year. Maybe December, though. You never know. Actually, I, I wouldn't mind playing in December, because one of the pieces of DLC I got 
is the um, <clears throat> the Christmas paint job stuff. Although that might require me, now that I think about it, might require me to actually own a truck. So we'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> so far in that game, I've never bought a truck. I've just kind of crashed everybody else's trucks. coming together pretty nicely out this way, it looks like. <clears throat> I'm just kind of looking at this, wondering if King Street needs a bridge. I mean, I guess it's not hurting anything to have it. this coming along are we actually storing any oil whatsoever no we are not no we are not Why are you... <sighs> Pharmaceuticals? Okay, I get that. The cargo terminal might be a good place for commercial industries to pick up pharmaceuticals from. But garbage? Really? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Twenty-two tons of garbage. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna make another livestock farm out here. Let's just check our natural resources. Oh, we've got more stuff up here we can take advantage of too, and potentially up in here. What do we want? We want. You're listening to Second Moon, the epitome of classical listening at home or wherever you roam. Livestock farming specialized uh, industry can be set uh, up anywhere to produce hour. livestock. Kim Excellent. Is unseen outside an uh, abandoned building. That's right, Jim. This decaying shell is a symbol of the industrial decline sweeping the city. People are being laid off. The industrial sector is on the verge of collapse. And worryingly, crime is on the rise. Thanks, Kim. Always gotta watch out for crime. Not to mention collapsing buildings. We'll have more after this. We're we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, okay, that should be good. Drive safely. go up here
works. good. Hey X-Wing, how are you doing? It's excellent to see you. The sadist, I mean dentist. Oh man, I hope it went well. Okay, let's see here. You know, I'd kind of like to link these roads up. Stone 13, we finally made it, guys. Congratulations, things are looking good. Went okay, a new dent dentist is the one I had for 25 years quit, and the new one thinks everything is horrible. Oh no. The sole existence of this office lowers the crime rate citywide. I think we'd better take that as much as I want to do some of the other stuff. So we're going to do that and we'll get the underground parking building. We'll have to wait on the automated parking building, which I really want. Okay, we're going to go down here to our strawberry crossing area. Oops. And I think this is where we're going to build the CIB. Oh my... 
Holy... But... Uh, this is huge! Yeah, I haven't actually built one yet myself, X-Wing. I believe Ultra may have built one already. Okay. Um, if we're gonna do that, I'm thinking I'd better provide some cross-street connections here. The local headquarters for CIB agents. The Central Intelligence Bureau investigates severe criminal activity and apprehends criminals with superior efficiency. The sole existence of the office lowers crime rates citywide. Minus 8%. around here we've got some stuff in here I'll get rid of this parking lot there that we put in sorry guys I know you were fond of that one uh, but don't you worry we're gonna move this plaza as well apparently because what we're doing is huge we're gonna put that park right there and we're gonna hope that the train tracks don't get in the way I'm putting in an underground parking facility, and of course they do. So we're going to get rid of that road too and give us a little more space to work with. And then it fits nicely. There you go. Uh, what do you mean AMZ? How many people is what going to empty? Done. Oh, we turned off the parking fee here. Let's do that with this one as well. Ooh, that holds 200 vehicles as opposed to this one, which only does 60. That's very nice. Oh, employ the CID? Uh, good question. 100, if at full capacity. One is the director, and the other is very, very lazy, uses AI. Wow. might we have use for an underground parking facility? That would give me space for 40 more cars in here. I think we'll keep that one, though. I don't like the idea of underground parking right on the water. Here might be good, though. It also gives me back a little bit of space. Unless I feel like putting two in side by side, which I might actually do. Imagine criminals getting beat by AI, at least now, not before they are trained. The building gives me Skynet vibes, really? I guess I can see that.
didn't leave a lot of room over here, did I? Could maybe replace a few of these smaller buildings. Have a good one, Bob. You're listening to Second Moon, the station for the cultural sophisticated who doesn't fear extending their ears to the more I don't have a lot of parking out here, do I? Let us move now from the musical page to the literary. Mm -hmm. Here we have some perfectly anguishing correspondence from a listener. My dear. Professor Hornbuckle, <laughs> whereas I make no apology for my erudite, uh, modesty demands that I prevaricate against the title. I am but a humble devotee of the form, and all my expertise derives merely from a life devoted to the gentle Just arts. finished the latest DLC for Though Wrath I do of the Righteous today. The honor. I had don't... Uh, but I digest. Wait. To continue... You know Professor what? I think I do have that game. As a traveler from my I haven't homeland, played it yet. I long to hear a tune that speaks One of to these the days. English of my road weary soul. I know I just now, said I don't like the idea of China underground parking right on the water, but the there's water at least a little seven. bit of space. Leave we can that imagine to those that that's okay. Poet chaps, eh? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some modest Okay, that one doesn't seem very heavily and used, so I'm not going to replace that. The commercial district is booming as the area is Here, attracting though. more high-end stores, bringing Here the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy. <laughs> can we have a redeem to make that pretentious on so the radio? Uh, no, actually, I. Well, maybe, but. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back. You'll have to have that happen Industry with my protest because I actually really enjoy him. Doing well, that Switch over to vibe. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. We can do that. I think we've had vibe before. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna actually shift this down here. We're gonna give the radio or the um, the airport a couple of them. Oh, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Okay. This train line has got to move. would be better. Thank you. just have never heard that guy before. I actually really enjoy him because he is so ridiculous. Okay, now let's check our parking stats. Parking facility availability is really good. with some realism. Let's crack up the uh, crank up the 
parking fees at the airport and the passenger ferry. I actually don't know if this is going to get used very much. I'm not sure how popular this is. Well, it's 48 passengers waiting, I suppose. What fairy tale is that? Hey, this is this is a city where I get to make the rules, right? If I want good parking in my city, I'm gonna get good parking in my city. Have a great one, Aaron Lord. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Bejor? Oh my god, I am jealous. That is quite the accomplishment. Let's get rid of this road now. I'm gonna... What the heck? Fine. You know what we're gonna do then? took conquering most of Cardassia to do it? That's amazing. Now, who were you playing as? Are you playing as the Federation or as one of the others? Not that I imagine the Klingons or the Romulans have a lot of interest in uh, liberating Card uh, the, uh, the Bajorans, but I can't help but be curious. City, an old style soda bar with a large rooftop terrace where patrons can enjoy their beverage while taking in the sights. Federation, excellent. It's not like back in the day where a big snowstorm happens and schools are closed because no one can get to them. Today's kids only get snow days if the power goes out because now we have online learning. That, oh man, you know what, Ben? I never thought about that. So glad I'm done with school. It's a good spot for Bela City. Maybe 
over here? What's this? Police station, Ivy Street. I never did the muscle car garage either. Let's put that in there. Oh, what are you? Why are what? Why are you the way you are? Oh, wait. Okay, I see. It just wants a two-road connection. It's got to be on a corner. We can do that. That's fair. And that gives me a good place to put, maybe right across the street from Vila City, actually. Uh, I will put the muscle car garage in. Oh, man, the muscle car garage is huge. What does this one do? Vila City... Minus one import cost city-wide, plus one attractiveness city-wide, plus three well-being within 500 meters. And then this one, minus one import cost again city-wide, plus one percent attractiveness city-wide, and plus three well-being within 500 meters. Okay. I'm glad we went to school in the before online learning blew up. Yeah. They sued for peace once their entire fleet was done for and half their colonies were invaded. The Klingons backed out of their defensive pact with Cardassia to shoot at the Romulans, so I managed to take my second front fleet and hammer Cardassia in the flank. Very nice, X-Wing. I need to do more Star Trek Online as well. Or, uh, well, yeah, I need to do more Star Trek Online, but I need to do um, Star Trek Infinite which is honestly easier because I have to recover my Star Trek Online account. I lost the email address associated with it. I'm sure I could do it, though. I've got all the information I need. Just a matter of finding the time. You might not be a fan, but the Enterprise E is a beast in combat. Oh, I don't doubt it. In a way, that's kind of why I'm not a fan, though. I just... I think the Enterprise deserves better than to be a mere warship, you know? The Enterprise is a ship of exploration and peace. The E... It's a great warship, but it's not an Enterprise. Not really. The Enterprise is supposed to embody the essence of Starfleet? Exactly, yeah. supposed to be in here. This looks like it's not popping up, whatever it is. Oh, there's nothing zoned there. Entering 5th Digital Games. 
Prepare for sensory overload. You want it, thick? Digital! Are you a man or a mountain? Digital! Are you ready for a game that rips out your heart and stomps it to death? Digital! digital. Then come on down to Thick Digital and we'll hook you up to Adrenaline Overdrive! You won't be able to take much more of this, sir! Then hit him with everything we've got! Digital! True X-Wing. But if it gets too cold, that might also prevent uh, snow days, actually. There is a sweet spot of temperature sort of between, you know, uh, in Celsius, it's between zero and maybe five. Below which it Crystal starts Dragon to snow 22 a lot less often. is here, bringing five brave raiders. What's the most broken item in Skyrim? The lockpicks. CD, it's so good to see you. Welcome on in. Welcome, everybody. How are you doing? It's so wonderful to have you here. What is going on? Thank you so much for bringing your people in with the raid. What was uh, going on? Uh, but places here will close due to cold. Yeah, okay. Uh, CD, what's going on? How was your stream? Tell me all about it. I would love to hear all the things. Let me just take a moment to give you a shout out or two. There we go. Monopoly Plus. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that streamed online before. How did that go? Was that the entire stream or were you doing something else and switched over? Nine days until Rogue Trader. What is Rogue Trader and why does it sound so familiar? Our schools aren't built for some of the extreme cold days that we get once or twice a year and close due to them. Interesting. Welcome on in, Yusuka. Is that how I pronounce your name or is it uh, something else? How, 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 or is it... Wait. Yeah, I'm not... Would it be Jessica by any chance? The Warhammer 40k, oh, from Owlcat Games. Very cool, X-Wing. I'm very curious about that. I don't know anything about Warhammer, and I've felt for a long time now like I maybe need to learn, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that one. That might be a good entry point, depending. Jessica's my real name, but you use Yusuka. Okay, okay, it's really good to have you here. Welcome on in. Thank you for correcting my pronunciation. I, uh, I actually do really prefer to get people's names right whenever possible. So, thank you. Uh, how was your stream? How was your stream, uh, CD? Tell me all about it. What is going on? How did Monopoly go? What else did you play, if anything? I'd love to hear all the details. Uh, so, for those of you who are maybe new here in the channel, let me just pause here. My name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development. Today, we are playing some City Skylines 2 and raising money for extra life. So, if you can be generous, please do. Uh, if you can't, then just being here also really helps a lot. It makes us a better target for people to come and watch, and maybe some of them will be able to donate. Uh, and... Let's see, uh, as far as the types of stuff that I stream, I tend to play a lot of single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every now and then, I throw in a Lego build. In fact, uh, come December, which will probably be the next time I stream, unless I maybe do a bonus or something, I'm going to be starting a new Lego build. I've got the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar, so we'll be doing just a little bit of Lego every day in December up until Christmas, which will be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. I've never done a Lego Advent calendar before, so that'll be a first for me. So I'm looking forward to that. And if any of that does sound good, please feel free to hit the follow button. Yasuka underscore S has arrived at the library seeking law. I have always imagined that paradise will be a kind of library. Jorge Luis Borges. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Now, I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you folks in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Well, welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh no! <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter! Oh damn it! Oh no! 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 Oh shoot! Sixty-nine form factor aspect ratio. Oh no! 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 No oh, crap! Whoa! Yes. Whoa. <laughs> okay. 
That... Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here so thank you thank you cd what is going on I had some fun enjoying a challenge to beat three cpus set on hard played a first game that lasted an hour and i got crushed played a second game that at one point i had no actual monopoly and less than 50 dollars and came back to win oh damn really good fight and great stream that sounds like a lot of fun cd i haven't played monopoly in eons that sounds actually really cool I might have to check into that game at some point. Uh, so yeah, we are playing some City Skylines 2 today. We finally got up to Milestone 13, huge city, even though we don't even have 50,000 people in the city yet. So that's fun. We're just working on improving some of the um, facilities of the city here. I've added a new college. Lake River College. I have been adding a whole bunch of new underground parking facilities that I just unlocked. I've been expanding this little rich area of the city a bit. And I added in a Central Intelligence Bureau in an effort to curb the rise of crime in the city. Let's take a look at our worst crime stats. Where are we? Jail availability is ridiculously good. Prison availability is ridiculously good. Crime probability is still really low. Crimes per month is still increasing, but the crime success rate is starting to drop a little bit, so that's good. 477 criminals in the city. Yikes. Gotta get a doorbell camera? They're actually really nice, Ben. Although they, uh, at least the one that I use requires a bit of tuning. If you've got visible vegetation in the line where the camera picks up movement and you get a reasonable amount of wind, you'd be surprised at how many false positives you can register on the thing. Not an argument against getting it, because, you know, I think it outweighs whatever minor inconvenience that causes, and generally uh, they can be adjusted, but... Something to be aware of. Burned down. Oil and gear garage. Oh, they're actually using a fire uh, fire engine. That's actually kind of exciting. It's been a while since I've seen an actual fire engine on the road. Usually they seem to want to call in. Wait a minute. Fairview Firehouse, where is that? Oh, no wonder they use the engine. Usually they uh, seem to prefer calling in a firefighting helicopter these days. Another fire over here. Ah, see, this one, they're using the helichopper.
Why use a boring truck when you have helicopters? Exactly, X-Wing. For the past couple of years before my dad died, these degenerates kept banging on our door, scaring our dogs, and today I was able to see a bit of details of one of them. Well, it is Black Friday slash Cyber Monday, Ben. This is probably not a bad time. And it sounds like you've got a really good use for it. Broke right now. Okay, that's, yeah. Understandable. Is there any kind of a pattern to when they tend to do it? I'm wondering if there's a way that you could improvise some kind of similar thing, maybe using a phone or something like that to take pictures. Had a great comeback of a stream in terms of coming back from Thanksgiving break, so you're all smiles. That's awesome, CD. Random. Ugh. That's a pain in the ass, Ben. I'm sorry to hear it. Hopefully things turn around a little bit and you're able to do something about it. This is the first time you know of since your dad died. that's going on. One of them had blue on and a pinky ring on his right pinky and that's all you got. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's not a huge amount to go on, right? I mean, the pinky ring is something, though. shoes uh thanks they're whoppers oh that's some fine stitching take them off let me see well uh all right beautiful leather soft and strong they fit like a glove and they look great on you thanks buddy hey wait where are you going with my shoes huh whoppers they sure are nice shoes Not enough to get the cops involved, yeah. And I guess you don't want to just kind of sit around with a camera waiting for them either. Not if it's random like that. a pie fan but the food was great it was a great time kind of picky about desserts and food in general sometimes not always based on flavor but more on texture yeah i get texture things too sometimes texture is a big thing with food for you understandable hopefully everybody in the states anyone here who's from the states had a good thanksgiving just recently. 
I myself am Canadian, so I had Thanksgiving almost two months ago. But uh, it was pretty good. Very low-key this year. But that's okay, I prefer that. So right now what I'm doing is I'm finding lots that are complaining about rent being too high. And the way you deal with that, or at least the way I've been dealing with that, is I just kick them out of the city and say, if you're going to complain, that's it. You can leave. Goodbye. Uh, but actually the reasoning for it is you get rid of the lower density resident residential building that's there that only has a small number of people living in it and you replace it with a building that can handle more people and then the rent is divided among more people and it's more affordable for them. Three minute warning guys, we're gonna have a break in three minutes, ads are gonna run. And I am going to run some clips while the ads are going. So if you do have to watch ads, first of all, thank you very much. It helps the stream more than you may realize. And second of all, you will not have to miss anything. Strawberry crossing area is shaping up nicely. Let me just verify ours. Um, yeah, oh, that's perfect. Perfect, okay. So our districting is still intact. We've got everything going good. How's transit looking now that I've expanded the area a little bit? starting to be large enough that I could consider another another bus loop. Probably look at doing that after the break. The Amazon delivery people have a tendency to knock very softly or not at all, and a lot of the time people's packages go missing. Oh, that sucks, Ben. You know, checking out other people's streams has really made me appreciate your taking breaks during ads. No one else does, and it's so jarring. Yeah, I've, I've noticed the same thing. I have trouble. I'm honestly considering getting Amazon Turbo, like Twitch Turbo, to, uh, to deal with it because, man, it gets really frustrating and annoying. One of the reasons I tend to want to thank people who actually do watch the ads as well. I know how obnoxious it can be, because I watch a lot of streamers. And I don't take that lightly, so thank you folks. And speaking of, it is now about time for that break. So I'm going to get up and move around for a few minutes. If you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, this is a very good time. I'll be back in about three and a half to five minutes or so. Live prey feeder unlocked. Oh my god! 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, Dolph Deer. Oh, it's enormous. But where have the books gone? That'll buff out. It's not a problem. Deal a total of 6,500 or more damage? What did I just walk into? What? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my Cannot fail. This weapon will be ours to command, and all of our enemies will fall before it. Ours, Captain? I think you overestimate your role in this operation. Simply put, this is a game of chess between myself and the other. And you, all of you, are pawns. Do I make myself clear? As Crystal Majesty, we await your orders. It's good to see at least one of you has sense, Inquisitor. Prepare to move out. I need to reach the central core and the other won't make it easy for me. You do your jobs and we won't have a problem. Fail me and the other will be the least of your worries. As you command, Emperor. Yes! <laughs> Journal entry added. Experience points received 200. Uh, I'm not finding any ultimate weapons, although I got lots of other crap. No pun intended. I was also looking at Star Citizen. Maybe you'll try that next week. Very nice, Jim. I've been having fun with it so far, even though I've never left this city, let alone this planet. So, this is my fancy ship that I got with my old AMD R9 video card that I actually started streaming using. And then a few years ago, I upgraded to the 1080 and haven't uh, used it since. But I got this ship at the same time that I got that card. This is a racing ship. It has no cargo capacity at all. So it, it would be very difficult to try to make any money with this. Although, it might be possible to manually stuff some cargo in the back there, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's about that. All right, guys, you ready? Nice. How do you like the new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. Speaking of... You be of... careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! 
Exterminate. Oh my god. And cut that out. Okay, I am back. Wow, Jarek. More places need laws like that. Package theft is a serious problem in North America. I'm sure that's not the only place. Thank you, Bob. Okay, let's see here. Oh, we love the cheap and random flea market. We came here with the grandkids, and we'll stay out. Cheap and random. Oh, sure. I've been here before. Matter of fact, I was here last Tuesday. Cheap and random. Toaster works fine if you flip the bread. Cheap and random. What is that? Okay, let's see if we can get some idea of what kind of population we've got in this area. Cheap and random. You never know what you're gonna get, and you never will unless you come find out. Well, that's the university. I want the district. Oh, interesting. I put so many new people in that I've lowered the average wealth. It's now just comfortable, not wealthy. Fascinating. We have 4,936 people in the district with 777 dogs. Mostly adults and seniors. Not many children or teens. Majority are poorly educated or educated. Well, we're starting to get some more highly ed educated and well educated people. That's pretty good. Starting to think maybe I didn't need both of these parking lots here. <laughs> okay, but I said I was going to work on bus routing, right? So let's put some stops in. I think we're going to do one here and here. And I've got one here already. Leave. That is a bus. Yeah. So I'll put a matching stop in right there. And they've got crosswalks over here already. That's good. So we're going to start over here. Oh. I should take that stop into account too. Okay. Good. There we 
go. Now I need one more stop. This is the big subway transfer point, or one of them. So we really want... There we go. Now that I'm done and made myself some post-dream food, I can eat and enjoy hanging out with you a while. Excellent. I do have a bit of time left in the stream. So what kind of food did you get? Okay, now let's also... This is line 11 and 12. a darker shade of green. There we go. Raided the fridge Tomcat style and made myself some barbecue roast beef sandwiches. Oh, that sounds delicious. Roast beef sandwiches are always a favorite of mine. Looks like I may have been successful in my attempts at uh, improving flow through the city then. Last time I had to get a new bus out of that new depot, it took a very different route. Okay, but I was not expecting that. Where are we going? going to the highway. I wonder if it's going to end up not being all that terribly different or rude after all. Actually, hang on just one moment, bus. I want to examine this. Stop in the middle of the highway, car. What are you doing? Toothpicks with the olives on top? I'm not an olive person, but that sounds fancy as heck and really, really cool.
Steph is addicted to them. Well, that works then. I'm not a huge olive person, but I do really like olive oil. eat them straight out of the jar or can. Not uncommon for her to burn through a jar of olives in a night? Wow. She really likes her olives. Oh my god. That's a lot of passengers to suddenly pick up. On a new route like this, at least? I do wonder if maybe we have too many buses assigned. I'm impressed. Not many of them got off at the subway station, either. As many as she has, I figured she won't even notice two went missing. <laughs> Probably not, no. Hey, Boydum, how's it going? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Come on. Pull up. Holding up traffic. There's got to be somebody coming up. Oh, uh, yeah. Nope. Nope. Okay. I was going to say I was waiting for that person coming up on the station. I guess not. Better way to turn around? Man, hang on. That's unacceptable. They could have just driven right down here. What the heck? Wow. Alright, fine. I don't want to tear down a bunch of buildings for the sake of fixing a bus. Things going, Boydum. I hope all is well with you. Yeah, I kind of suspect maybe we've got too many buses on these routes. How many do we have? Let's do some sleuthing here. 
three doesn't seem too excessive. Especially if they're getting like 16 and 17% usage. That's really good. I'll leave it for now. I'm not driving at all. I am just following around. All I'm doing is rotating the camera around to kind of keep the best angle for viewing. But you can't drive the vehicles in the game. They're just AI controlled. Okay. Let's leave it to its route. So far, I think that's going pretty well. I am thinking maybe, now that we've got a fair amount of high density or higher density stuff in here, might not be the worst idea to maybe give them some local death care. So we're gonna provide a crematorium. very much like that. And that means Linden Crematorium does not, or the Linden Junction Crematorium does not need to operate here anymore. We can reduce... Oh, no, wait a minute. That was wrong. They do still need to operate in Linden Junction. It's Strawberry Crossing. Lawkeeper Mr. Lol just advanced. Two months. I was what? just about to watch Armageddon on Netflix when my subscription expired. Ah well, I thought. It's not the end of the world. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Mr. Lolt, thank you so much for the uh, the resub. I really appreciate that. Thank you for using your Prime sub. It means a lot to me. Thank you, thank you. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, it was... Yeah, we want to keep that operating in Linden Junction. We don't need it in Strawberry Crossing anymore. There we go. leave it unupgraded for the time being. I think that'll probably be fine. Now, does that... Oh, it, yeah, okay. Ooh. Actually, we might need to move that. Uh, let's check the wind direction. What do we have down here? Oh, that's a rock quarry. That might not be that bad.
tell you what, let's move this up here. And make sure it's actually still within the district. It's not. We can fix that. Done. There we go. So then, what do we do with this space around here? I mean, I can probably make Barlow Street longer. Keeper Crystal Dragon 22 just advanced. Seven months. I'm very disappointed with my Amazon Prime subscription. It will only let me watch episodes 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. There you go. Thought I'd help support things here as well with this smiley face. You are so kind, CD. Thank you so much. We've had so many. What the heck? That's so many subs today and resubs. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you. I made an account for Ring the Doorbell Camera Company. Now you just need to get the camera. Fingers crossed, Ben. It really sounds like you could definitely use that. I really hope you're able to make that happen. Uh, okay, looks like there is some customer availability for a commercial district, so we'll put a little bit in there. And then I think... Do some low density offices along here. Why is. Oh, I forgot about the freaking fire watchtower. You can go there. I want my commercial zones here. There we go. <clears throat> or my uh, office zones, rather. And then. much suitable space for low density housing. A little bit over here. The rest really looks like it's better for medium or higher. Oh man, even here is not good for medium. fill in a bit. Let's see how well this does. Oh, I just realized I, I actually zoned some low density, forgetting that we, you know, as much as this area might be well suited to low density, we have zero demand for low density. So I guess we're not going to do that. Let's do some row housing there too.
inspecting our uh, intersections here. It looks like most of them have nothing except yield signs. It seems to be working. I don't see any need to fix that. Strawberry Loop 1 is getting used very heavily. Strawberry Loop 2 seems to be declining a little. That could be time of day dependent, though. It could be, you know, people liking a certain direction around the loop at one time of day. And then it could be that in the morning, it'll be the other direction Anybody that they prefer. Sure nice that's a thing that uh, can happen. Thanks, they're whoppers. Oh, that's some fine stitching. Take them off, let me see. Well, uh, all right. Beautiful leather, soft and strong. They fit like a glove, and they look great on you. Thanks, buddy. Hey, wait, where are you going with my shoes? Huh, Wofford's. They sure are nice shoes. Oh. I've been doing all this work, all this stream, and I have not considered postal service. Seems to be going okay so far without a lot of consideration for it, but, uh... Desire. Let's put a post box over here, show you everything and you. another one over I here. Measure you to your tip, and you will love the thread we spoke for you. A we have this whole new area over here. Had better. We could definitely use a post box there, and I know these all benefited from that, but I like having one a little more local. So let's go maybe right here. There we go. Is there anything else that's really new? This area is kind of new. But these are also right by the post sorting facility, so I don't know that they would need one. I don't know that we built any other large areas. It's mostly here and here. Although I did tear up a lot of stuff over this way. Let's maybe put one in. Oh, they care. They care. I'm sure a lot of them are wishing that the administration paid a little more attention to such things. So many people are getting sick. The city should really look after their health better. I don't know, Ms. Chirper poster person. Healthcare availability looks pretty heckin' good to me. Availability looks really good. Coverage is excellent. I mean, there's a little bit of a less well-covered spot out right by the airport, but that's literally one road. I think they may be complaining about nothing. This area is not so great. But I don't think this is enough to justify building a whole new clinic. And it's certainly not worth justifying a whole, you know, a hospital. That would just be silly. Yep, the administration. It's just the same thing again. Uh, where is, what do we got here? Population. Count, number of households, population change, happiness. This has nothing on health, okay.
Yep, this is the same city. This is the very first city I started creating in this game. It's not that huge, though. We're only at just a little over 50,000 people. Compare that to, say, Ultrasaurus, who was hanging out in stream earlier. Like, she's long since taken off, but uh, if you go and look at her city that she's been doing on her stream, she got it up to, like, 350,000 people. A little bit bigger. Let's have a look at education. Yeah, okay, I think we need another elementary school. Uh, where do we have them? Got actually two very close by, that's interesting. Yeah, it's also getting hard for her system to handle, though. Oh, not these are not all elementary schools. Okay, that's a college and an elementary school. That is a high school. the university so there's that elementary school up there but I think Strawberry Crossing could probably use an elementary school of its very own and I think maybe we'll put that in here if we've got space stops right down the street from it so yeah that should be good might put a taxi stand in nearby too just to uh, make it even more convenient speaking of taxis Two citizens a month. I wonder if maybe we could use another taxi depot. I wonder if any one city has ever broken the 1 million mark. I suspect not in this game, not yet.
Man, it is spitting out a lot of taxis. That is bright. Well, the game may be capable of it. We'll have to see what happens after they're able to dig in deeper and do more optimization. intersection again. I'm starting to get some problems here too. Accident there. Is there a way to keep things in check if you feel a limit is reached, or will they just keep attempting to move in? They need places to move into, so you can just stop zoning places for them to move into. Respawn. Hey, buddy, those sure are nice shoes. Uh, thanks, they're Wofford's. Oh, that's some fine stitching. Take them off, let me see. Well, uh, I have this terrible right. feeling I have to Beautiful. upgrade this road, yeah. too. Soft and strong. They fit like a glove. And they look great on you. Thanks, buddy. Hey, wait, where are you going with my shoes? Huh, Wofford's. They sure are nice shoes. Now entering fifth digital games. Prepare for sensory overload. You want it. So far, so good, Matt. It's digital. really good to see you. How are you doing today? Digital. You ready for a game that rips out your heart and stops it to death? Digital. Then come on down to Thick Digital, and we'll hook you up to adrenaline overdrive. You won't be able to take much more of this, sir. Then hit them with everything we've got. Digital. Workday is almost done. It's been a long one. I hope it's been a good one.
something's blocking me. What's going on here? Oh, skate park. That would do it. Uh, let me get the other thing back. Where was that? That was the plaza. Was the most testosterone injected ad you've ever heard in cities? Yeah, this is a new station. Honestly, I think I like the other one better. And by new, I mean uh, not new as in they just added it, just new as in I've never really listened to it before. better. We'll go this way. Oh, actually, I don't care for that. That's a very mess, I think. that skate part back. Let's move you over roughly where you were. There we go. Fingers crossed. Let's see if this actually works. Oh, uh, also, let me just take a minute here and snooze the upcoming ads. I don't want to take another break today. There we go. That should be fine. Now we've got an underground traffic jam in the in the lanes down here. looks better. That, not so much. But that's up here. traffic just pouring in here. Oh my god, do they? No, they do have lights. Okay. <laughs> They're just never getting a chance to merge into the roundabout. See, this may be another circumstance where our roundabouts are kind of murdering us.
Well, it worked well for a long time. I think I may have just succeeded in creating too much traffic for this to actually work anymore, though. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to be able to re-engineer a new solution to this today. This might be a next time project. This was based on the design of some of my elevated interchanges, though. I wonder, wonder if a similar solution could work. You know what? To heck with what I just said. CD, enjoy, get some good rest. Hope to catch you again very soon. I am going to hang on a second here. What are we snapping to? Yeah, let's just not snap to anything. as much separation as I was going for. instead of a very large. Nope, I can barely do it. Okay. Time for me to decide what game to lose a knight to, Greedfall or Fallout 4. They both look like excellent games. I don't think you will have a bad time with either of them. How many lanes have we got here? That looks like three to me. just be one. I think I might need 
need to relocate this temporarily. connected in okay maybe okay but now challenge number two that was part one now I have to get this and this connected now entering fifth digital games prepare for sensory overload I'm gonna try to reduce the amount of lanes on this. I don't know if this is going to go well. This might be a terrible, terrible idea. But we'll see. Cheap and random. Oh, we love the cheap and random flea market. We came here with the grandkids, and we'll stay cheap and random. Oh, sure, I've been here before. Matter of fact, I was here last Tuesday. Cheap and random. Toaster works. Let's fine. get a large city park over here. The brand. Cheap and random. There we go. What is that thing? What is that thing? What is that thing? That is oh a frog net extraction. Oh, Okay, we are now ready to see this completely explode. Hey, Aaron Lore. Yeah, I think this is just going to immediately lock up again. I mean, some stuff is managing to get through. Honestly, it's not the trash fire I thought it was going to be. I don't know that I would say it's working great yet. We'll have to see how well it handles this. This looks pretty heavy. to say yet though whether that what, what is weird uh we'll we'll have to see if this actually clears because that looks like it's piling up pretty good I'm going to call it progress made, and we'll see if we can fix the other side next time, guys. I think this is probably a good point. 
So let's save our city. And I think we're going to go find somebody awesome to raid today. So thank you folks so much. Today has been such a wild stream. I don't know what went on with all the subs, but thank you for all the subs and the resubs and the prime subs and the gift subs. It was a pretty amazing day. I really appreciate it. And I even appreciate more just the fact that you all came over and hung out and uh, enjoyed city building with me today. Thanks for the stream. Hope you have a good rest of the evening. I'm sure I will. Thank you very much, and thank you for being here, Matt. Let's see. I've already got one raid target in mind, but let's see who else we've got on. Looks like Jessica Ravenblatt is playing some Dead by Daylight. Um... Wow, there's a lot of people on, but very few that I know. Michelle Boyd is on. Uh, I'm not sure what she's going to be playing. She's under just chatting right now, but it looks like she is doing some co-op time in something. I'm, I'm guessing this is the game name. It's something called We Were Here Forever but I'm not familiar with it, so I'm not 100% certain on that. Smash Lee's playing some Star Citizen. Elspeth is playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Uh, Ash Monster is on, and she is also playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And that's about it today. Not a huge list. Thank you for being here, Ben. The new Mario game, honestly, yeah, I have been watching Ash Monster play that one for a few days now. It seems like a bit of a departure for her, but she's been having a lot of fun with it. So maybe we'll go visit her and see what's going on with that. So let me just load up Ash's channel. I always love rating Ash. She's such a fun creator. There's actually two new Mario games, and Ash has been playing both of them. Uh, I, she may have already finished the remake of Super Mario RPG, but she's now playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder. So let's raid Ash Monster FTW. And where are we? I will get you the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use shh. It's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart amount, the wave amount, and the shh amount of the channel if you are a sub. If you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb raid amount. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe for another streamer, even from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Ash Monster's channel. You guys probably know Ash if you've been hanging out in my channel for any length of time. I've known her for a number of years now. She's a fantastic, very positive, very cheerful, slightly ragey content creator who specializes in a lot of new release games that she plays on the hardest difficulty level available. So uh, I always enjoy spending time with her. She's really, really fun and friendly. So let's go hang out with her, see what's going on with her, and I will catch you guys back here possibly sometime over the next couple of days, maybe even tonight. I've been thinking maybe I'll do a bit of a bonus stream, but whether I do or not, I will definitely be back on Friday for our first stream of December and our first Lego Advent Calendar stream. So I uh, hope to see you back here for that. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are, and I will catch you again very soon. Bye for now.